All right, fellas. It's been a long time coming. We started this project just for the sake of our anticipation for the movie. The movie's finally out. The three of us here that have already seen the whole thing, and we will give a quick disclaimer to those watching. We will not be holding back on spoilers. Most especially, Peaches. Peach, you look so cool. <laughs> yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time not only to, you know, gush, gush the ever-living hell out of uh, the Mario movie, but also to end this all off on what is often considered one of the best Mario experiences ever made before it got milked to high hell. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3! Actually, can I just talk about how funny that is? It's like, it seems like it went like a bit back and forth with Mario 3. Like, for a while people were, you know, they really liked this game a lot. But then during like, I think maybe like the late Wii era on to like the 3DS era, there was a period in time where everyone just despised this game to heck and back. It's just because Nintendo was just milking its, its aesthetic and design choices for so long, especially with the new Super Mario Brothers series. It's like, there was really no escaping this game's legacy, whether you liked it or not. And I mean, as someone who primarily prefers Mario World over Mario 3, I can sort of... I sort of feel the same way, even though I don't think it's that egregious about it. I don't know, it's just one of those things where it's... It's one of those things you look back on in hindsight, it's like, yeah, they could have toned it down a little bit more. And I'm kind of grateful we're at a point now where they're not even so much, you know, riding high high off this game's horse anymore. Even though they'll still acknowledge it, because, you know, this is a very important game in Mario's legacy. Like, it not only gave, you know, it not only gave us a more varied a amount of power-ups for Mario to play with, like the raccoon suit, mm -hmm. it also allowed for such very pivotal abilities, like being able to float with said raccoon, as well as fly. Whee! <laughs> Logan, what do you have to say on the whole matter, considering that you will be my Luigi oh, to oh. My, my Charlie, your, my Charlie Day to your, uh, no. You'll be, I'll be the Chris Pratt to your Charlie Day. Hello. <laughs> that was my thing I was saying. I was like, that. hello. Hello. Uh, I am here. I'm going to be attempting to do a two-player game, which I hope allows us to uh, do co-op. And like, if you clear level, then I'm able to then I'm able to move forward as well. There you go. Yeah, um, yeah the way this game handles its uh, multiplayer mechanic is that uh, basically, as always, uh, the bros will take turns. Uh, when one brother clears one level, the other brother can move forward and clear whatever level is like in front of them. Though there is there very much the possibility that say one either of us game over at any point, then all the levels that we previously cleared will be uh, reverted back to their original state. Oh, jeez. So say okay. if I, I got a game over at some point, and say you got a game over at some point, and I was the one that cleared level uh, two, you'd have to do level two again. No pressure. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine. Remember, you're the wild card. I am the, I'm the wild card! I play with power! Or whatever the hell he says. So I win so at the gonna... game because I win at life. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before you move, before you move forward, uh, b bash on that uh, one, the second note block. There you go. Yay! I could do. I'll the... help oh. out whatever I can, even oh, though my... I've only had so much practice with this game myself. Oh, let me it's give like... that. Give me oh, that. What am I doing? I look like a, I look, I look a bear or something. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I'm like now I get to be invincible. Oh. Oh, it didn't last. <laughs> and and hey, that's no bear. That's a raccoon dog. Well, that's oh, what Luigi thought. It's a tanuki. Oh, yeah, so you're a bear? Or is a... So anyway, uh, we're also going to be... I mean, we're gonna. I mean, we're we're gonna try to like clear some of the clear as many of the stages, but we're also gonna try to beat this thing in a single session. I don't know, because this is that is also of note is that this was also one of the longer Mario games as well to like give like full. It's easily I mean, the it's easily the longest game out yeah. of the entire trilogy. And we talked about the fact that like, war. oh boy. And we talked about the fact that like, because like we said, we wanted to use three as our main vehicle for really talking about the movie. Now that's out, and you know. I, I think it's safe to say that we all had a pretty partial fondness to it. We all enjoyed our time with it, but we also agreed that, like, we, we're we not confident that we can, like, cover our whole thoughts in the movie in more than one session, so. Probably best to... I mean, there's the light, there is the possibility we might have to do this game in two sessions, but, I mean, I, we're pros at this kind of stuff. I like to think that if we know what we're doing, we can easily get past this in roughly a two-hour time frame. <laughs> Worst case scenario, maybe we'll, maybe we'll be able to include other people if this takes more than one session. But uh, yeah. but at, but but as it stands, as that is moving forward, um, do I go to number four or do I just keep going? I think I want to just keep going. You can go to the mushroom house. Mm, 
I'm high. I'm high on power, and I want to go attack <laughs> the castle. <laughs> but you could be high on even more power if you go into the mushroom house, or you could, or you could, you know, play play your luck at the uh, place with the uh, spade icon on it. I'm gonna gamble. Line up the pictures. <laughs> yeah, I butt over, and I just push me all the way. Watch a master at work. Is it weird that that's the first time I've ever actually seen Luigi Sprite whenever he enters a Toad House or oh. me a gambling house? I can see that. This looks like. Okay, fine. Okay, now I'm just gonna freaking go in my freaking hall. Mighty power. I'm a coming for you, guy. Uh oh, that was oh. A close. One. <laughs> Be mindful. The lava still okay, hurts. Okay, maybe not God specifically. I, I, I'll just settle with fighting Bowser. Oh, this I mean, is look not at this, good. Look at it this way, Luigi. You'll get more screen time doing whatever you're doing here than you did in the movie. You're right. Yeah, that is like the one thing that I guess if we're gonna get, start talking about negatives right away, like, like a lot of my problems with the movie are more so nitpicks. But that's like the one genuine problem that I can agree with a lot of people. Luigi needed more screen time. I will say, for what it's worth, whatever time he did get in the in the movie is easily some of the best stuff in the movie because it's Charlie Day's Luigi. He absolutely was built for the role. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. At, the, at the same time, though, it's also the matter that they're treating this not so much like a Super Mario Brothers plot, but more so Yoshi's Island plot. Where Luigi is the one that needs to be needs to be saved. Yeah, but yeah, I do agree that like you know he definitely makes the most of what time he has on screen, especially like what time he has with Mario. Because like I was mentioning this earlier, like one of my favorite things about the movie. <laughs> oh crap! Oh boy! Like one of my favorite things about you, you were trying to assert dominance Oops. to the poor Boom Boom by flying over him, but then it costed you the the, the tail and ears. All right, Luigi, we get it. You're making the most out of your time on screen. Get that move on. <laughs> okay, I had to do the dance. Had to do the dance. Okay, so, so I guess to hopefully organize our thoughts, we're gonna try and tackle the movie in chronological order. So right off the bat, I think, um, I believe that even the even the introduction when it covers when it shows the Nintendo, I I, I already found it charming at the very beginning with the Nintendo Pictures Presents or whatever, with the little Mario and the little Sprite Mario and Luigi having their little quarrel that, that like, cute. reminded me... That reminded that me a lot adorable. of... It reminded me a lot of, like, even Mario 3's oh, intro. Oh, yeah! This is not a scroller! No thanks! <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we don't... <laughs> no, thank that. you. Um, so right off the bat, the movie began with... Nice, wet, very well executed, and we get ourselves a Power Star for later levels. A very, very super special thingamajig that Bowser stole... During the beginning of the movie, right, which what, basically the like, doing it? yeah, Go just ahead. as a heads up, like the very first trailer that they showed us with the penguins, that essentially is how the movie opens up, right, which makes sense. It's it's establishing the plot all right off the bat. What the penguins were doing with this with the uh, with the star, I don't know. I think they're about to wage war. We gotta watch out for them penguins. <laughs> um, but beyond that, um... <laughs> the moment we drop the poor peng the poor penguin prince down a cliff. That's when the war, the, the ice cold war start. It was on that moment, it was on that day that my people learned that they chose war. And but <laughs> nice, nice. So, um, so beyond Stop. that, I want to, I, I want to say when I want to say if you ever jump into that with P speed, it's almost guaranteed to be a star. Almost guaranteed, yeah. Cool. Um, so let's see. So right off the bat, something that was not present in the original. Uh, you, know, eh, you know what? I'm not gonna have any much <laughs> evidence in there. That's all. Yeah, go for it. Look at him go! Oh! Oops. I fell. Boop, boop. Well, uh, can, <laughs> I can, the, we, I can we... Can we rewind? You can rewind on this thing, right? Only only if you're playing solo. And yeah, that was a case where I was mad with power. You can't go mad with power like that. You gotta do it like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. Okay, careful. Okay, Mushroom, okay now resume your thought before you get drunk. Um, one thing I noticed, one thing I noted in that original trailer that we didn't see, you know, the whole open the gates, was that they actually cut a line of dialogue that basically, which I guess will quickly, um, segue into this. They mentioned death a lot more than I thought they were going to in a Mario Oh yeah, no, Bowser, Bowser has no chill in that movie, and I'm kind of great, and I, I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not even just mentioning death, there straight up was more death. Like, one, still one of my favorite scenes in the movie is when Bowser's talking about his plans to marry Peach. Like, the one cook oh. is like, what if she says no? And Bowser just straight up <laughs> roasts him into a dry bones. And, yeah. and, and there are other deaths that we'll, that we will cover as they happen later in, the, uh, in that movie, but yeah, so I mean... Went without saying when we first reacted to it back. We were talking about Mario One. I think we we even mentioned it. Yeah, no. Uh, if any if anyone's design wise and stuff was handled like really awesomely, I really enjoy Bowser's look and his intimidation factor. 
Oh yeah, no, he he was he was bit, he was intimidating and all while also still keeping in true to how much of a fucking simp he is for Princess Peach. He yes. was pathetically adorable and oh no, it's he's been turned oh, into Oh no, the many kings of the Mushroom Kingdom have been turned into weird creatures. That's right, because the whole plot of this game is that well, Peach isn't kidnapped first and foremost. It's actually more so a matter that Bowser's just terrorizing the overall world in the overall Mario world, stealing all the king's scepters with the help of his uh, seven Koopalings, and having them transform the kings into weird-ass creatures. And thus you must venture to each of their fortresses. Uh, I I do want to point that out real quick, then we'll get back to the movie. The whole, like, oh, Peach actually isn't kidnapped at the beginning of this game. The one element of Mario 3 people want Nintendo to milk. <laughs> I guess. I, I don't know, like, I... The, I mean, there's so many other, like, elements that, that Mario 3 started. The the ability to use items on the main menu, on the map screen. The fact that there was a map screen, thus allowing you to replay levels if you so choose. Like, like things uh, like that. Not so, much, not so much that part. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, that wouldn't be until Mario World where you actually get to, where you were allowed to replay levels. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. For safety's sake. Nope, did, nope, nothing here. Time to move got... on and meet the first of the seven Koopalings. It's Larry! Look at him, he's a, he's a fun dude. Um, so yeah, so... The Koopalings will all fight with their scepters, though they take three good bounces in order to, keep, to properly take out. Yaha! Gotcha! But yeah, so then, so after Bowser, after Bowser was introduced and shown off as like this huge menace, then we immediately cut into the Mario Luigi commercial, which is still fun. And so I guess right off the bat, your thought, your thoughts on, I assume at the time was the direction. Chris, we want you to actually try and do your best to do a Charles Martinet impression in this commercial. And I mean, that's exactly what he did. And I'll give him, you know what? I'll give him credit for that because the, you know, the context behind it is pretty brilliant. You don't think, you don't think that you, you don't, you don't think the accents were a bit much? Too, Too much. much. It's a perfect. Wahoo! All right, I'm gonna trust you. <laughs> so yeah, no, that that the, the idea of having classic Jumpman being the guy whose idea was for that. Uh, I I I, I don't know. I thought that was fun. Mm. I, I I don't agree with your friends who thought that that was a weird like idea. Uh, yeah, you know what? Why not? P. Now I'll be mad with power. Oh my gosh! It gives you infinite like. It, now is that infinite P power for the entire thing, or is it just like? Just for, the sake of, just for the sake of the one level. Afterwards, you revert back to Raccoon Mario. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, go ahead. But yeah, hi, but what were your thoughts on that? And I guess even as like a general overview of your thoughts on uh, Chris Pratt as Mario in general. Hey? <laughs> That's the... That was the part. I gave you the... He went mute. Okay, so yeah, I'm, he went mute. He went mute, and I think it's because he couldn't stand. He couldn't stand the p. The p sounds no more. The speed noise is is getting too much. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep an eye on that then, and hope that he gets back. Uh, in the meanwhile, um, James, what did what did you think of Chris Pratt as Mario? Now that you've heard him, I mean, I really do think the trailers definitely soiled whatever credibility he could he should have been given because yeah, no, I think. As far as the whole movie's concerned, he did a damn good job. I, like he had the he had the right amount of energy that is normally associated with Mario, and I mean when it, I mean say so if you want to be goofy, he got to play it, let him be goofy. When he wanted to play things serious, he let him play things serious. That, I think so. honestly, it was pretty refreshing. It's like it was a bit of it was a mix of that and like, yeah, no, I think whoever, it's the joke. I'm almost like thinking that like whoever, whoever was the one who. Edit those. I'm trying to get on this block. Don't, don't worry, Luigi. You got this. Okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you might have to do it from the other block. There. That's probably why. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say you probably should have just uh, stood on the other block. That might have been why it was. Um, oh, it was blocking me. I see. I, I. I see your game. Anyway. Um. Th no. That whoever. It's my belief that whoever was whoever was responsible for putting those takes in those trailers should probably almost should be fired because of how much sabotage they intentionally or unintentionally did because of no there were certain lines in those trailers that never actually appeared oh nice that never actually appeared in the game at all such as the freaking mushroom kingdom here we come like he never says that ever in the movie i feel like he has to, I, i'm pretty sure he did it at some point but otherwise yeah no it's like yeah you're right they t they totally just that wasn't there when it, pl when it played out, and also just 
I'm trying to remember of any other standout examples. Like, you, oh, you know, no, I remember now. There was the whole thing of, like, in the one of the trailers, he just went, like, Mamma Mia. He says that same line in the movie, but it's a little more appropriate to the, to the more appropriate tone. Yeah, to the, it's uh, actually scene. Phil. Yeah, like, Phil, like, actually almost taking our own, like, criticism we had. Like, it actually was, like, it was filled with awe and wonder, like, Mamma Mia. Kind of like, <laughs> Mamma mia, what an abomination. <laughs> but um, otherwise, uh, f- actually, that's another thing. It's like, I, it was already brought up, like, in an earlier uh, playthrough where, like, uh, one, one scene from the first trailer was revised. You know, the whole, like, he's on the go-kart and he goes off, Wahoo! and they had changed it to be a lot more enthusiastic in the final in final thing. Yeah, I, I I also swear throughout the movie I heard every one of his different Also, for the, also should be said for the first time in the Mario series is where we are introduced to not only Dry Bones, but Boo Buddies, or Boo Diddlies as they used to be called. Boo Diddlies, which... Until they just be, uh, uh, just, now they're just called Boos. Fair. Absolutely fair. Um, yeah, no, Mar- Mario actually, uh, Chris Pratt, I think, did surprise me genuinely on how decently he did play Mario. Welcome back, Hype. Sorry about that. Like, um, mom just started plopping clothes on the bed, and I'm guess, and I was like, I guess she wants me to do this for a bit. <laughs> Fair enough. You took, took, take, t- t- good to take that hint. Sorry. Um, so, but b- 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 to involve you, we were saying, I was gonna say, what were your thoughts on the, uh, on either his impression of Barney or the fact of Chris Pratt as Mario in general? Well, I will what say the, I thought the whoops. Well, huh. I, I thought that actually what, there, there's a there, there's a whole trap up there for those that try to fly the whole thing. Dang, Swift. Uh, anyway, yeah. um, I I thought the accent gag was amusing, and you know it wasn't that bad of an impression. And it just and I even liked the gag where they involved like Marnie responding to it as Jump Man, which that that in of, of itself was still adorable. As far as like Pratt's performance, <laughs> oh yeah, if, actually if the credits are anything to go by, I think that old that old Jump Man like guy is supposed to be named Giuseppe. Oh, I know, but I'm just oh, gonna call him Jump Man since we all know that's what he's supposed to be. That's awesome. That's true. But but, um, uh, but yeah, continue. But yeah, as far as like Pratt himself goes, um. You guys probably talked about it while I was gone, but I will agree with people that, like, the, the marketing really did not do him a lot of favors because he was nowhere near as bad as he was in, like, the, the trailers and whatnot. Like, I still don't know if he would be my ideal choice for a movie Mario, but I honestly thought he did a good enough job. Like, I feel like the way Mario was written definitely played a big hand into how much I liked the performance, but Pratt himself did a good job. In fact, I actually was talking about this with Logan after he saw the movie the other night, but, um... There were certain parts where he had the accent where he almost kind of sounded like Richard Kine. <laughs> Which I... Kine? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah Tom um... from the first Tom and Jerry movie. Oh, right, right. Which I, I which I remember we were talking. Who tweeted that out originally? They're they're like, yeah, Richard Kind probably could have been a decent Mario voice uh, or something. I, I might have been. I don't know if anyone tweeted it, but like I said, I knew I know I was talking to you about that because there were I, some oh. lines where it almost oh boy, where he I almost sounded bounce, like I thought it would bounce on the shell a second time. Like, I think Back the one that stuck out to me the most where he sounded like it was when he was first talking with Peach about letting him go on the adventure. It goes like, okay, you can stay here and make fun of my height all you want. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I could see what you're saying, yeah. Oh, my gosh, but yeah, no, so... Uh, oh, sorry. So yeah, then then now we got that. Uh, going back to chrono- chronology, we we already we already gushed about Charlie Day as Luigi. He just it, it works. It, oh yeah, it, it works of- really well. And that was actually something that I wanted to talk about for a bit as well. Like just going back to mm-hmm. Charlie Day, the one thing that I loved the most about his performance, you know, aside from Day himself, was just how great he played off of like Pratt's Mario, and just in general how the two of them were written together. Like. They absolutely make the most of their screen time together, and it's like, I love just how supportive and loving they are of each other. The fact that, like, Luigi, like, they make a joke, like, Mario's dad makes a joke about how, like, oh, you're just holding Luigi back, but Luigi doesn't see it like that. And, like, Mario being so protective of Luigi, like, the second Spike starts picking on him, he steps in, it's like... I know to a casual observer, none of this seems like a whole lot, but again, after years and years of those, like, obnoxious parodies where Mario's painted as a horrible person, this was an honest to God breath of fresh air for me. Yeah, especially considering that, by and large, like, no, this is totally in character for Mario, like, especially with the RPGs, like, the dude will will always have his brother's back when he has the chance. It is, yeah, it was genuinely very fun to, oh, this is a level... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, time to not time to fight not only the quicksand but the sun itself. Hello, Mister Sun. Isn't it a beautiful day today? I don't know what's so bad about it. I mean, yeah, that that sun's kind of staring at me creepily, but I don't see how this is any worse than any other level. Ah, oh, sorry, the sun was in my eye. I, I was not. I genuinely thought I could jump over that. Apologies 
go for it, Master of Mario. So, but yeah, no, no, they just had like such genuinely, genuinely like fun, like moments together, like of like being loving brothers and supportive of each other, and like, like they're they're gonna stick it through to the end. But like, no, I'd say beyond Here that. Here comes like, the whoa. sun, dude. Ow, ow, oh boy. And Wait, I block say, it off, block it off. It, it's just the sun. Whoa, block it off. That was, that was a slow arc. Um, okay, and there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh no! Oh, right on the end. Right, you were close. Mama my, my turn. Mia. <laughs> it's sun's coming right for me. Okay, here we go. Now it's my turn. Uh, hold on, before you go in. I'm gonna do this with no power-ups. I'm a courageous Luigi who don't need no man. <laughs> well, all right. Don't prove it. Don't prove us now wrong now, Luigi. What you gotta the... really make the most of, most oh, of things oh, oh, if you want to oh, oh, really oh, oh. earn that screen time for the sequel. What the oh, hell is oh, this? Oh, 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 it's a twist. Oh, oh. It's a twister, Luigi. Okay, you I'm gotta just... jump it. I, I, this I'm is trying Wanda to jump it. Cow. Oh, jump it. Jump quicker. There wow. you go. And... Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'll let it. <laughs> I was oh, so Luigi, confused. I didn't think you cared about me like that. I was not ready for a return to the Mario One springs of <laughs> up into the heavens. <laughs> Let's try that again. So like, oh. By the way, you look at the, you look at that angry sun. Is that are those? Re is that really supposed to be a sun or just an imitator with, that's wearing wearing a spiked helmet? Maybe oh, well, I should. That's a thought I didn't. Like, that's a, I, honestly a thought I didn't consider. But um, which oh, I, which actually I, that girl even touched me. Which actually then okay now I will use a power up just in case because I know we gotta get. I uh, there's no more power. Or actually, do you have any power ups? Yeah, on you? I, I have my own power ups. Let's how, see. How do I use them? Uh, press Y. Y. Oh, yeah. Why? Okay, you have a raccoon suit. That should help. That should get you to the level relatively easily, especially since we're technically playing the uh, All Star slash. Uh, Western release of Super Mario Brothers uh, 3, where uh, when you get hit, you don't immediately go straight to Small Mario Luigi. You just lose the power up, which is thankfully just something that they've kept since. Oh God! Uh, as throughout Mar all of Mario's history since then. Okay, put me down. Now we're doing this for real. <laughs> for real. You can't catch me from here, Mister Sun. Oh. I'm coming back down, aren't I? Yes, you are. Oh, lordy. Okay, let's move. I uh, know. He's on to me. He's on to my tricks. Just, just... <laughs> Watch out. Oh, gee. oh shit. He ha Wait, he has feet. Get me. <laughs> I didn't even notice oh. that. He had fucking feet. Oh, my gosh. That's so weird. I killed the sun. <laughs> oh, my God. Just Don't worry, through. Luigi. It was just a fake. Okay, so now we move forward. Um, The next oh, thing, then, finally. Is... I need a recharge. Go for it. Uh, I will say... Among the things that I am astonished that Nintendo allowed them to do, establishing an entire extended family for the Mario Brothers. Yeah, yeah like and, I uh, figured... if, if I if I heard if I heard correctly, apparently uh, the Illumination used uh, documents that Nintendo actually had on hand of uh, scrapped designs they had for potential pairs for the brothers. No kidding. Uh, that is interesting. And apparently, like... and from what I heard, apparently the designs are not that far removed from what they had planned. That's oh. interesting. Like, like not even just that, because like. First off, I'm surprised that they didn't stop at the mom and dad. The fact that they have, like, uncles and, like, a little nephew and an aunt, it's like, it, it was a lot more Mario family tree than I figured. That, yeah, really. It's that, like, yeah. I mean, you're hearing it now. One of Mario and Luigi's uncles is voiced by John DiMaggio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the other is uh, Rina Romano, which that's a voice I haven't heard in a long while. That's a name I haven't heard in many moons. But yeah, uh, um, and another thing about uh, Mario's dad. Uh, first off, that's the other uh, cameo that Charles has in the movie, and, it, and it's really cute. I, I'm, I've, I've always been a sucker for those kind of casting choices. And second off, I've oh, heard yeah. some people say that um, apparently his design looks very similar to like the 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 cow rancher from Ocarina of Time. Oh, uh, Talon. Yeah, I damn. You know, it might have been totally intentional. Which. That was another, which that was another Easter egg role that I personally did not have any problem with, was Charles Martinet as Light. Papa Mario. Right, it's I mean, cute. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. It's like he's basically he's given. It, it's kind of like a Martinet at one point has might have to give it the role, but then he has to put it onto a successor. But he can still be the old man to give him some tips. Mm -hmm. And or express disappointment, which I guess leads to I guess one of a. 
it's not a long list, but there is there is a ah, whoop, my foot. There is wow. there is a list there is a list there a, a small list of things uh, that we wish. Before you do we... anything else, Luigi, I actually think that he's spinning the exact. Ah, ah, oops, that's mean. I've been ambushed. Um, get him. I. Uh, Watch out for the socks. You're uh, going I mean business. You know those are nice socks. I'm, uh, I have socks like that. Ooh, a music box. Okay, well, I mean that was fun, but uh, what do I do with the music box? Uh, the music box can be used to uh, put the uh, enemies on the map to sleep. Oh, so you can put walk, you can go past them. Oh, I will. Mm -hmm. I will do like, uh, it. You can go past them, though. I mean, they usually carry some pretty uh, good, some pretty good stuff. So, say if you want to grab nab that stuff from them, uh, don't really bother using it. Okay. Oh! Again, it's just for the Oof. sake of avoiding them. <laughs> wow, <laughs> where did all my skin go? All right, now then, I don't think I. I also don't think I want to use the. Oh, um, hold on. Before you go to the pyramid, see that rock on the right? Oh, oh, up there by the tree. You can bash it with the hammer. And oh. behold, a whole bunch more secrets. Uh -oh. Like, like a, your first encounter with Fire Brothers. Oh my lord! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna try that again next time, but uh, we'll see what's over there. And by next time, I, we mean right now. Okay. Come here. Go for. I would but say. First, yeah, I would say get get a get get a food or a snack or something for the road. Get a food. Um, but yeah, no, the first the first of a small list of things that we wish the movie probably could have done a oh, bit more with was. Um, uh, uh, that's a little... frog suit. A frog. Yeah, uh, these technically you don't see until World Three, but you can get your early uh, glimpse of them here <laughs> if you find the secret. Get him. Rivet. Rivet. Oh. Okay. Okay. Dude. I don't think they like the rivets. Oh, but it gave you the it gave you the damage boosting you needed to get. A warp whistle. Which is very important. We actually probably want to use those to maybe hold right, right, this now up. Uh, okay. B uh, it depends we... on where we use it at, because um, the warp whistle will only take you to certain to later levels depending on where you use it. Interesting. Okay. Um. Th okay. Then sorry. Back to you. Hype is that? Or back to my I guess. My thought is, I kind of do wish there was a little bit more, uh, a little bit more development between Mario and his father. Yeah. To like establish why he was disappointed or why like, because there's this theme going around that there's this theme of like Mario feeling like he needs to like you know make something of himself, but it's not fully shown all the time. Yeah, I like think. I mean the only thing the only hint we get of that is that well prior to them starting their plumbing business. They were originally working for a construction company that is uh, held by uh, another deep cut from the from the Mario series, uh, Foreman Spike. Yep, and Wrecking Crew, which was interesting that they remembered that. Yeah, not only that, but they actually brought back Spike as a well, not so much a pro he's definitely a secondary character, but I'm surprised they gave him the top billing that they did. Yeah, yeah considering I that like he's not all that prominent in the movie. He's really not. I mean, honestly, I'd say he's about as prominent as, the, as Mario's family is. But yeah, like, they did establish that that was the main reason that Mario's dad was disappointed, because they, they quit working with Foreman Spike to form their plumbing services, but it's like, there's not much outside of that, and I'm really curious as to whether that's something that they did have at one point, because I remember someone saying that apparently there were, like, a lot of scenes cut from the movie that hopefully we'll be able to, like, see more of once the movie uh, hits digital. I'm right. hoping like, so, too. We get some sort of director's cut, because uh, that is one thing that, you know, is more or less no secret to those that have already seen it. It's like, I mean, I still say for what it's worth, the movie's fantastic, but it's also definitely a movie that, it definitely risks through a lot of its stuff. It's it's very fast-paced. Yeah, right? no, it, it, the idea is that it felt like every scene was, oh, it felt like every scene was only as long as it, how did that not break the point? Hold on a moment. Yeah, I, I, like, yeah I caught that, too. But uh, it was like weird. every scene was only as long as it needed to be to move the plot forward, and that was uh oh. Just <laughs> I'm not wearing those socks today, thanks. Just yeah, just get out of there. And nice. I think that gives you at least a two up for having oh, a no, one, one up. Darn. Yeah, you'll only get a higher you'll only get higher uh, life accounts if you are able to get a uh, prop a, a full set. Okay, okay, all right, let's do this. Your turn, Weech. You so, get to save. 
the, the uh, scuttlebutt thingy. Oh, lordy, Aww. it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please skip this. I don't need to know about the magic wand. I got that <laughs> part down, diddly squat. You got me. I'm on the ship now. <laughs> that is one thing I do still f find pretty funny about how the kings are transformed in the All-Stars and Advanced version of Super Mario Bros. 3. Because um, in the original game, uh, the transformations they all went through were Why did I fairly original. Oh. Like, the first one was a dog. Uh, I think at some point you also... It's just a whole bunch more... Uh-oh. That's right, because we technically failed the first time. Uh, now the airship is going to go, like, flying all over the place, and you got to catch up to it. And this can be a case where if you haven't been, you know, properly clearing all these levels... Uh, this could be a bit of a time sink. You got this, Mario. Actually, if I can go back real quick, uh, you mentioned dog. That was like the one scene that, like, even though I adore the movie, Oops. that felt like that felt like the one scene that felt very Illumination esque when Mario and Luigi were going to their first job and there was the dog. Yeah. And it's that like that dog did not look very Mario esque. Well, I'm not I even mean, talking about how I, I had my I had my fun with that scene, though. I can agree that definitely feels like something that would be more akin to what we'd expect out of Illumination than out of Mario. And that's like, my thing. That was my thing, Logan. Like, my problem wasn't so much how the dog looked. Like, I thought he looked fine. It was just more so the fact that, like, he was a lot more aggressive about Luigi bricking on his toy than was what realistically needed. It, it just... I just could not get Secret Life of Pets out of my head. Uh-oh. Uh, when I saw that... Why did I... Mm, Whoop. Ugh, we'll be here a while. I'm a tall jumper. Like, I was fine with, like, the brief bit where it's like the dog just stared him down as Luigi tried to walk away. Like, that was fine. I didn't really need him trying to actively kill Mario and Luigi while they're working on the sink. Yeah, but I guess it I guess it had to be established the fact that they're not actually very good plumbers, I don't think. Or I mean, it's not so much the that they're very, not so much very good plumbers, but I think it's more so just trying to establish what they, what they end up needing to do in the heat of the moment. Right, because they were. I mean, it's kind of it's 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 kind of a similar thing to like earlier on, like when they were trying to reach their fir first real big plumbing job. They couldn't even take their advantages to reach to reach the clients. They had to literally go through an entire construction site to show off which, some platform and then, oh, nice. Which, Ooh, which that was cute. One. Like again, like another detail of like Mario looking out for his brother. I loved how like Mario's like going through all these platforming heights, but he still makes like little shortcuts for Luigi, like opening gates for him. And there's a big a hole he jumps over. He puts down a plank for him to walk across. Right, I, yeah. I think it's it was it was actually at the time I think very solid, quick foundation to explain that yes, Mario, he's not like he wasn't at the time a hero, but like he knew his way around like jumping and like doing like you know navigating you know a hellish place like Brooklyn. I'll say there, Morton. Hey, Morton. Oh. Um, not he's really not that much different from Larry beforehand, but I do know that nice. it, that size will be bit more bit put to better use with uh, Roy later. Okay. Yeah. So let's see, let's see. So we established the family. Uh, it goes without saying, I will run out of time if I try to keep counting all of them right now, but I enjoy... Mario was a huge gaming nerd. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Like, and, and all the different like deep cut like references to a lot of things, such as Kid Like, Icarus. of all things, I was actually surprised if he'd be a Kid Icarus fan. Yeah, I, I figured he yeah. would have been playing Zelda. Yeah, especially given especially given the little nod like that we were given Icarus, to Mario. I noticed he had a he had an R wing uh, he had an R wing um, figure on his TV or something. Yeah, um, like the old school R wing at that. And then there was thank you. And then there were things like um, oh gosh, but but then like even throughout all of Brooklyn that you know Nintendo of five Brooklyn there were a number of little like nods and things such as um, well I guess like for instance. Um, I noticed that there was a Isle Delfino themed travel agency from Sunshine. That was, there was cute. There was a balloon kid themed car wash towards the end. A like. Uh, there, oh yeah, there, there, there was a whole sign that you could see where literally just smack. They just put the freaking old school image of the balloon fighter smack dab on it. You have that. You have the ice climber ice cream. Yeah, the ice climber ice cream. Um, there were a bunch oh, of like cute that references that. along that. Um, oh, uh, I was gonna say really quick. Sorry, sorry. it was. It, I mean, it, you didn't see the ice climbers, but it was definitely the polar bear from the game that you know. Right, right, right. But but yes, ice climbers. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Well, I was just saying, like, just to further move along the plot, um, so, like, they had their, like, Mario had his, like, short-lived tip, tiff with his father, Luigi coming in, like, oh, don't worry, you're not holding me back, I'm with you all the way, and then they, Mario decides, no, we gotta, we gotta prove that we can be able to do this, and then you get the, uh, the newscast about the, the plumbing problem in New York, including a little cameo from Mayor Pauline, which I do like that they kept that detail. Yeah, that, that was, I was not, cool. I, I was not expecting that. We gotta figure out who played these characters, these like other characters we didn't normally hear. 
I mean, I think most, a good majority of them did get um, uh, mentioned in the uh, cast reel. Aside from spoilers, uh, Diddy, who apparently went uncredited. Um, well, I don't think I don't think Colin <gasps> was credited either. I was spooked. I feel like she might have, but I could be wrong. Okay, so let's see what else happened then. So then, um, so they go there and they're gonna like, and, and thus we harken back to what I recall being like, even like way back in that old like storybook that Martinet read so adorably. Things like this that. This was like, a bad idea. Like, the, like it, 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 at some point it was, again, always established that somewhere in Brooklyn amongst, um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, uh, oh! Am amidst its get many off, pipes, amidst its many pipes, there is just a warp pipe that uh, allows access, and apparently it's ne it's sort of established that this has been a common enough occurrence that in interdimensional travel is a thing. Yeah. Because it's mentioned more than once, and spoilers utilized more than once. Um, and right down I, to the climax. Yeah. Yeah. So Which, that took me by mm -hmm. surprise in a number of ways, but we'll save that for later. Fair enough. Um, let's see. All right. Then I'm gonna go. Oh my gosh! Yep, time to try your hand at the card flipping. Okay, one, two. No. Uh, I want to see. If there's like four preset uh set of cards that you can flip, and if you like, if you can immediately recognize where the uh, cards are, like the oh, items are placed, you like... can get through them. Look at split. Yeah. Well, do not mind me. Where do not mind how I'm gonna spend my uh, four minutes on the computer when uh, <laughs> James is doing this. And oh, nice. Um. <laughs> So yeah, and you get to do it in a frog suit, which is you know the most useful in this world considering this is the water themed area. That's Too true. many things. So many things. Uh oh, now we got the oh, big well, Bertha. Uh, not quite. This is actually her uh, a cranky husband, uh, Boss Bass. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, Big Bertha's constantly uh, constantly uh, <laughs> oh. misinterpreted as being the aggressive one. She's just the one that's carrying her child. Oh, the one that like oh the one that spits out the child but then quickly gobbles it up. Right. I'll pick you up Die! School. She's the overprotective mother. I thought I could clock it with a shell. Though, I guess it is funny how in the original Super Mario Brothers uh -huh. movie, they just had a character named Big Bertha, who's just this, just big set, uh... Was she woman? corpulent? Very set, corpulent? Who just, who just outright, yeah, very corpulent woman who literally just smacked the shit out of Mario. And really yeah. noted, even if you had a mushroom, they don't give a rip. They really don't. So. Actually, I'm going to try something here. What? What are you doing? You, me, to the arena, now. Oh. No. Wait, what? 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 I want your thingy. No! Wait. I'll take that. Hey! You! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was this in the original game, or was this an All-Stars exclusive? Oh, this was in the original as well. Basically, one of us has to reach a certain amount of, uh, cr crushed spice, Yahoo. Spice, or we, one of us has to die. I Keep take up. that back, I think. Nah. Uh, actually, no. In me doing that, he gets his turn back. Oh, and, but, but, I he, but he, he does get the back as well, but, uh, actually, let's check on that real quick. How many items do you have now? Okay, you still have your items. I think what it is, I took one of your extra lives. Yeah, you did. Yeah, well, basically, you took one of my cards in the lower right, so you could combine it to get a one-up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's basically, that's typically what you're fighting for. Um, but yeah, no, so it was, so it was, okay, let's go for it. Oh, get me out here. Yeah. Woo! I do it. Me out. Get me out. Ooh! <laughs> Out! There! You can't catch me, you little trickster. So no, it You're was... no baba! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, crud. <laughs> well, you're doomed. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're I was freaking turned and slapped around and... Oh, I know. God. And I think that also resets all the cards he turned over on the map. But thankfully, I did jack crap, so it actually gives, now, actually gives James an advantage, because now he can get the Toad House again. That is true. But yeah, no. So, okay, so let's see. So now they they do they start taking care of that, and Luigi gets sucked away, and that led to one of the scenes that we that we appreciate of showing Mario, like even in this like huge like host hostile like you know like frantic moment. Uh, That's nice. Oh wow! In this huge hostile moment, he is like trying to cheer Luigi up until they get you know separated very briskly. Yeah, and poor Luigi too. Like he gets, he gets like literally yoked straight to the Darklands. Yeah, and chased off yeah. by a bunch of dry bones. Which, honestly, like slightly off topic. Although I guess on topic, given how that scene played and how fun that was, I'm surprised we've never seen any dry bones in the Luigi's Mansion games. 
Uh, yeah, no, they they primarily stuck to they they primarily stuck to stuck to spirits as opposed to like any like, for lack of a better word, undead uh, creatures. Until the very end when we got a cameo, but I'll I'll talk about that a bit as, uh, later. Um, so. Then we get Keegan Michael Key as Toad, and I honestly didn't mind him as Toad. He was, I thought, a very fun. Oh, Whoa, cool. nice. Yeah, he was. He was fun. like, he was like an, he was like a genuinely like fun like ball of energy that like, I don't know, like I I, I appreciate I that was something that I was super nervous about going into this was because, not to her discredit, but typically a Toad voice that you hear is not a voice that you expect to hear giving full sentences unless you go to Universal Studios now. <laughs> so. Yeah. I am Chef Toad. And like it actually, and like I think she. Which, by the way, don't don't eat, don't. By the way, don't eat Chef Toad's food. It's really not that great. Well, in not America, in States, it's not that great. Yeah, not in the state. Curse you, overpriced food industry. But, but yeah, no, like all the different things. Like, but we're adorable. Like all those little things. All those guys, like the freaking deep voice Toad, who should have been Toad's worth, but they they're cowards. Um, <laughs> no Toads are allowed to have mustaches. Hmm. Wait, I I think I can use this. I think I can. Yeah, I, th I think you can. Let me see, because I forget where it actually leads me. I'm gonna. Yeah, normally, when you take out a fortress, you also take out any blockades that are associated oh, yeah. with the fortress. Nice. Oh. So yeah, uh, sayonara, boss bass. Nobody to... will miss you. Which is good, because I hated doing that. Yeah. So we got to see that. So we got to see Toad, and he went on board to taking us to the the Peach, Peach uh, to Toad Town, which again that whole clip that we saw at the was it the Game Awards where we saw that clip of them going through Toad Town? I think that was the Game Awards. Could be wrong, but otherwise, yeah, they, they do play that scene, and that's still very good. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is one minor complaint I will definitely say as far as the movie's concerned. Mostly with Toad, and it's not not to say that his characterization was bad. I thought it was more or less on point. There's something that feels kind of. I don't know, off-putting to me, that he's just treated as, like, this random schmuck who just gets, who just forces himself into Mario and Peach's whole adventure just cause. When, like, when, like, maybe, maybe he was Captain Toad, like, like, cause that's a, th you know, cause that is a, th a thing of note that, again, maybe was cut in a, maybe was cut Like, content. I figured that, like, from the get-go, like, maybe he was, like, a member of Peach's whole, like, exactly. ministry and all that stuff. Like, maybe he had a little more importance than that, but no, he's just, he's just a random, he's just like that random weirdo who just likes to go around collecting stuff and bring it back to the Mushroom Kingdom for whatever reason. Cause, you know, that, that was, a, I was gonna say, nice. I was, cause I was gonna say like that's an interesting thing to notice. No, I will also say that mm -hmm. scene where he just up and uh, distracts the, uh, the oh, two yeah, guards in front of the castle. <laughs> yeah, that, that was adorable. That, that I thought was funny. But but no, but no, you raise a good point. That's why I think maybe it was cut content or something because it's it's clearly established because you know they they have no chance of defeating Bowser's army. It's clearly established at some point that the, a lot of the toads don't usually leave the Mushroom Kingdom, so. It's never really explained why Toad, why this Toad was going out and about and being an adventurer. And yes, for anyone who's curious why I kept thinking he was Captain Toad, they clearly in the music, which I cannot gush up, I cannot gush enough about. They clearly mm -hmm. were using Captain Toad's, you know, little signal like whistle. And they were thing. using his, they were using his music, and they were also, I mean, again, he's carrying a large ass backpack that's, you know, filled in the brim with a lot of stuff. Which is really not unlike, uh, well, aside from the frying pan stuff, that's pretty much on point with Captain Toad's character. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought that, and, and, yeah, so I could see that. Um, so then, uh oh, I'm not expecting you to be on oh, the first geez. floor with me. I was really expecting Again, them both to Hammer Brothers are no joke, especially when they're in pairs. I was really hoping that they would both jump. Okay, now you're up. So then, uh, let's see what else. Okie dokie. So then. We go through all the Toad Town again. More, more references. Even, even down to little st stupid quotes. I do love, like, hey, does this thing really work? Oh, it does. You just gotta blow on it a you bit. Just gotta blow in the wind. <laughs> like things like just little things like that. So I guess that will quickly bring me to a a, a thought that I just shared with Celia and Hype earlier, mm -hmm. and I think James will because he was in that conversation was like the fact that in the nicest way possible because it was heavily panned by critics on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, not like I, panned, just more so like they just didn't care. I genuinely think, in the night, in the nicest way I could mention it, is I genuinely think this movie was not made for critics, like or just or, or very highbrow moviegoers. It, it's supposed to just be dumb fun, and if you're a Mario fan, you know, great, you're gonna get a, you're gonna see a lot of love for the franchise that you grew up with, and if you're not a Mario fan. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest and say, like, my mom saw it with her class, and she's not really a... She does not play the games as much as I do, and she even... like She she outright told me, I was expecting to be on my phone the entire time, but I actually was, like, really enjoying where I was going. 
I think if nothing else, I think the Mario Brother if if, if it's not like a deep or thought provoking Mario movie or you know or a thought provoking movie that you know maybe could have had a little more substance to it, I think it's is it weird? It would it be a little too much for me to say it's probably a perfect example like. Okay, I mean, not perfect, but like, it's a very solid kids film. I think no, so. I, I, I would say I so. Think... Like, I think. Go ahead. Like, honestly, uh, the thought I have with it is, why did you know, I, I guess going that? to like going to theater. <laughs> Oops, I'm a Luigi. Why did I? What was I thinking? They have hammers. It's like I just Never going to hand. like a personal theater experiences. Um, I saw it on the same day as Logan, but I ended up seeing it uh, with my two cousins, and they're they're not particularly big gamers, at least compared to me, and they still had a fun time with it, especially the Bowser scenes, and just going through it. I guess the best way that I would describe it, in a similar vein to what the guys uh -huh. were talking about. Oh boy, like I would describe it as com as like oh my oh blah, blah, blah. oh 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 no. No, you don't. What are you supposed to? Oh, oh I see. You have to just. I was gonna say, yeah, this is the probably the highest. Can you actually kill that thing? Uh, I th actually, yeah, I think you can. Yeah, you can. I think it, 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 you can incapacitate him for t temporarily if you hit him with a block or a shell, but he does oh. come back. Jesus. Ow. So, uh, I guess my, I guess like just trying to think out loud my thoughts about the movie. I think that compared to your usual Illumination fare. I've seen Secret Life of Pets. Yes! This is the pattern I was hoping for. Now come down to the second floor where I may kill you. Yay. <laughs> I did it all by myself. I am a god. Let's go. So it was... I would, oh, say, I would say even compared to usual... um, Even compared to usual Illumination movies, like I've seen Secret Life of Pets. I've seen... Um, I've seen Secret Life of Pets. I, I have seen the first Minions movie. Uh, Despicable Me? No, like the first Minions movie. No, I'm just talking about like ones that you have seen. Oh yeah, and Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2 have not seen the third one, but th the thing I recall from things like Secret Life of Pets and especially the Minions movie is typically what they do... Oops! Whoa, they did a little flip. Frog uh, what, typically, typically something that they would do is they would just have swaths of just boring like oh it's so cute look at what we're doing but like nothing's actually happening like all that's happening is you know oh look one of the minions is naked you see him wearing a little speedo i don't need frogs <laughs> and going <laughs> you gotta let me go around and it's like oh lord look at that he's uh i don't need all of these right now i want to go here uh, I want to go further to the right and you will come across you'll just not quite oh well i mean there's that what else can I do? Give me... Okay. Not a frog. Toad, I cannot specify this enough. Not a frog. Thank you. Much oh, better. That's like at least a variety. Oh my gosh. Okay, back onto you the... You know, move. I can already imagine what a frog frog suit will look like in the next Mario movie. If they... There you go. Yield Japan. There's the castle. Oh yeah! But, it's actually... But it looks... But unfortunately you can't dock it. Ah, dang it. Oh, okay, well. well back I go. But a cute little nod. So, uh, as I head back to potentially die... I'm gonna try level 7, not 8. I keep dying. Um, while I do that... Actually, I don't I don't got a choice. Draw bridges up. Um... Uh, before you go in, just put on something. Okay, okay. Let's put on the frog. Get rid of this. <laughs> I, got I got a bunch of frogs burning a hole in my pocket. And, <laughs> and plenty of spikes who are all like, I hate, I, I'm in the mood for frog's legs. Yeah. But actually, be before oh. you go on to your statement, I did want to try to continue what I was starting earlier. Oh, apologies, yeah. Oh, okay. no! oh, oh boy. But yeah, just going back to that thing is slippery. Oh, yeah, it, it, well, the frog legs. Anyway, um, I guess the best way that I would describe the movie, and it took me a day to really put it properly to words, like, just going off the whole thing of, like, oh, you know, it's a solid kid's I have of... nothing. Come on. Sorry. And, anyway, um, the best way that I would personally describe the Mario movie is that it's perfect. Oof. Oh, get it, get, get, get. But yes, continue. There's oh, I get it. You don't see you don't steal items. You steal their freaking uh, end of level cards. Yep. But yeah, right. no, describe describe the movie hype. Um, it is perfect comfort food. I think that's fair. I I, I would definitely see myself rewatching this more than oh. I would. I would I could definitely see myself reviewing this more. No. Whoa. Oh. Uh, I could definitely see myself rewatching re this more often than the Mario than, than, than the Sonic Two movie. Did, yeah, honestly, I'd, I'd say the same. Oh no. Damn it. V for Thank you. And it's like, um, 
because like the the I reason that just saw Mario. Like the reason that I would like just describe it as a comfort movie is because like I know like. Obviously, it's not trying to be, like, high art or thought-provoking. You know, then again, I don't think a Mario movie should. But th th it's... I feel like its priority, first and foremost, is just to make you feel good as you're watching it. And I think on that front, it does its job perfectly well, because I felt really good watching it. I think so. Yeah, yeah that, that's the thing. Like, compared to Illumination, I... I, I was not bored while watching this. I I guess that's another thing I'll also say is that at, rarely at the at any point in the movie did I feel, for lack of a better word, cringed. Yeah, right. no, there was only there was only there was only one instance I can think of. Give me there, give me there, give me there. Woo. There was only one instance I, I can think of, and that's like way towards the end of the level. And finally, God, just a win. So then, um, so then as we moved forward, um, then we meet. So then we meet Peach, and I I don't I. I didn't mind Anya as Peach, but I will agree with a thought that a friend had, which was that at times it felt like Peach had two different characters that she was trying to do at the same time. Yeah, yeah I, I can kind of see what you mean by that. Like, I think for the most part, I think for what she was written, Anya does a fine job as Peach. I, I keep going back and forth on how I feel about her written, because I don't mind her being a more proactive character. I felt like it would have been nice if there were a few characteristics of Game Peach that were implemented into it, because, like, I feel like... <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like, first and foremost, I, I would have liked if she... <clears throat> Man, what's wrong with my throat right now? Oh my gosh. Oh, you, you know what? It's quit. The internet's strangling me for hating girl boss Peach. I think that's why my throat's the way it is. Oh, it's just don't, don't worry about this, dude. You got this. So then, um... I mean, it's also just a matter that I don't think... I mean, there's there are, peop there are people out there that try to proclaim that movie Peach is just essentially just taking Daisy's personality, and I'm like, have you fucking seen comic. Peach and Daisy? I mean, not even just the comic, but also just Peach, like, you're making it seem like the only, like, Daisy's the only one that's, like, the proactive one. It's like, bullshit, Peach has always, it's usually been that way. Uh, I think the only difference, the only major difference between the two of them is, like, just the fact that Daisy's just a much more hothead character compared to Peach. Right, like, like exactly. Like, Peach is the more reserved, the reserved and girly one, whereas Daisy's more the tomboyish loudmouth. Right. Yeah. And that's and that's the thought that I was trying to get on. Like that's the only real difference between the two. Otherwise, they are both e about on equal fields as far as like competency, how capable. They yeah, are. exactly. I but, think that's fair. But just going back to the thought I was trying to say before, the only reason that that people will assume otherwise because like let's be real here. When's the last time Bait has been kidnapped? Right. But yeah, like uh, the the thought that I was trying to get back to before I was getting strangled back there was the fact that um, yes. as much as as much as I appreciate the idea of having a proactive Peach joining along Mario, and there were some bits of banter that I thought were cute between the two of them, I felt like it would have been nice if she did have like a little bit more of the character traits that she had in the games, like. First off, like, at the beginning, I kind of wished she had, like, a little bit of that compassion that Game Peach has, because, like, the the one scene that always kind of rubbed me the wrong way is as they were leaving, and the Toads was like, wait, who's this joining you? He's not important, and, like, that seems a little out of character to Peach for me. I, I, I mean, I won't deny that, but I also get the feeling she did not write say didn't really mean that. I think she was just, because she was put on the spot. Because to be fair, yeah, no, she only just met this guy like a few minutes ago. And and worst case scenario, and worst case scenario, they'll start to think, is he your boyfriend? Right. <laughs> do, 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 do. But yeah, aside from that, like she was fine. Like she was not as girl bossy as I was afraid that she was going to be. Like there were moments where she kind of borderline, yeah, but they it. put enough restraint into it. Yeah, yeah, I honestly think they. That's probably like the one thing I feared the most, and I'm glad that they averted is that. They were able to keep a balance of that. Like she has her moments of, you know, being able to, you know, whoop some tail, whoop some butt. But even then, she even she has her moments of weakness. Mm -hmm. All right. And I mean, it also does go to show that sometimes she needs Mario's help just as much as uh, he needs her help. Yeah. Right. Um, trying to think. Well, like, was there? Did you get all your thoughts out uh, as far as Peach goes before we continue with the story, Logan? Um, just that again, I, I think, I think she did, I think she did a very serviceable job and I appreciate, hang on, I'm doing the research as well over here. I'm trying to see <laughs> where I, I'm tr right now. The big thing I'm trying to find is a, is a card that is different between all you three sets. Cheater. I need resources. <laughs> you need resources. Have you seen my pockets? Okay. I'm going to try have a deep deal whistle. Well, you're okay, also so better at games than we are. So <laughs> even the playing field. Okay. So it's one of these two. Okay, so here we go. What is this one? 
I, I, I got it now. I've cracked the code. <laughs> so while so now while I'm schooling this chumps, so what I what I believe they had with her was still fine. I I, I was actually you know I'm, I'm getting him I'm getting him myself there. I will say that her being her being more than capable of herself makes sense considering you know she's lived there her whole life. Like she would be more she would be more used to all of those things. Um, Which actually that's another thing we can bring up real quick. They actually. I mean, they don't go too per super deep into it, which I think is probably a good thing on the movie's part. They actually give us some semblance of a backstory for Paige. Right, that's what, yeah, yeah, yeah that was something I was definitely, uh, that was something that I was thinking about that surprised me, because I didn't think they were going to bother with that. I think this just leads me back. Take me well, I mean, you, know, you never know, you can check. I believe this does take me right back to the beginning of this world. Yep. Ooh. Okay, fine. I'm on my way. I mean, it's a good thing that these maps, like, I don't, I understand the reasoning behind these pipes being here in the first place. It's mostly, if the event you do get a game over, like, a good, like, the levels themselves that you have cleared will be uncleared again. But whatever obstacles were laid there because of the, um, the fortresses, those stay down. It's like Dark eh. Well, eh, sure, why not? In terms of those, like, shortcuts and stuff you have. Also, watch out, because, yeah, no, they, this is the level that brings in the bombs. I want to say this is also the same level where you can, like, the only level in the game where you can come across, uh, Goomba Shoe. Whoa! I was not expecting this transition. Yeah, they um, do that every once in a while. I was not so that. then, um, yeah. Um, Dead. so then we get to, like, we, so, so we got to Peach's, uh, obstacle course, and actually right off the bat, that was something that surprised me. I was not expecting them to, I was not expecting them to, like, actually, like, legitimize and say, yeah, no, this world has power-ups, what of it? Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, they, they did that, and Mario does not like Well, they kind of have to, because I mean, that's a big staple of the Mario series, is that you gotta have your power -ups. Right. That's fair. I, but I thought there was gonna be like this. I, I just realized something. All this fucking time, I should have been taking the boat, too, and <laughs> grab myself a power up. <laughs> yeah, go for it. But, um, but, yeah, but you know, it's, it's like... Because I wasn't expecting that. Like, I thought it was gonna be like, oh, the ancients, like, left these, and we never knew exactly how these relics work, but they would help us whenever a hero... No, they're just in these blocks. Who put them there? We don't know. Just hit the block. I mean, that's just how the world works. Yep. They, 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 they put sure. about as much effort explaining it as the games do. And that's the big thing. That's the big thing. Where, like I said, I don't think this movie was made for critics because the games didn't bear, bother with that. So why should why should the Mario movie care about that? It's oh exactly. look at a little Ooh, Reznor. Yes, he's, he's a he's a no. That's not actually no. That's not a Reznor. That's a Dino Rhino. Oh, oh fair, fair enough. Um, feed me, feed me, uh, feed uh, me. Uh, but no, so yeah, so they, so they go on their grand adventure, and that's not the that's not the only one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so actually, yeah, I, still, I love that too. Help me! But no, it's like, but no, it was like, so his little hoppy sounds a little. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Mario does the whole obstacle course. Uh, fun fact: I already saw on TikTok somebody has already done their best to remake. Oh. Has, someone already has done their best to remake that course in Mario Maker Two. Oh jeez! Like like match like trying their best to match all the movements and stuff that were that were happening in that course. Um, and I guess we get to the first like big note the the first real noticeable uh, element of it is which is my second thing I wish this movie did differently. Did they ever truly feel? Only okay, well, only one case really felt out of place. But for the most part, I um, I wish this movie in the North in the North American release, I wish this movie was more confident in its score and its soundtrack because yeah. I don't think we needed the licensed music all the time. I'll say I this mean, much. I don't I don't mind in the case of the obstacle course. It's more so a damning thing once what what, what we learned about where we go to the jungle kingdom for the first time. I'll right. say this okay. like also, hello Wendy and your and your magical uh, hula, hoops. hula hoops. Ooh. Hula hoops. But yeah, I was about to say uh, regarding that, I agree. Oh, no! oh, wait. Like reg Damn regarding it, I... that regarding that Logan, I agree to an extent, but the way I see it is that like I think in a vacuum the random pop songs to me anyway are about as offensive as, like, the random pop songs in the Peanuts movie, in that, like, yeah, it's a bit odd, but it doesn't ruin anything, until you found out that, uh, Ryan Taylor, uh, Tyler, I mean, the guy that composed the music, actually did have tracks composed for those particular scenes before they got replaced with the pop songs. And it's like, that feels like, out of all the things in the Mori movie, that feels like one of the few things where it's like, that has to have been an Illumination move. <laughs> So, yeah, so agreed. so there are theories, I guess, to this. There are, there are. I mean, for all I, I mean, my my the only theory I can think of off the top of my head is that maybe that was always like at first that was just a temp track. 
it could have been. I don't know. I, but but driving me. Or but, not, not or excuse me. They're, like the ten track. Like putting in. Uh, Freaking, what was that? Uh, take on me yeah. during that whole was... sequence. Like that, I that might have been just there as a temporary thing before they actually made a track, and then I guess they figured it, it, they already paid for the license, the license to use the song. May as well use it. Yeah. I could see that a bit, but yeah, the other, the other, the other theory that's been going around is maybe like they had. Oh, uh, before you go in the pipe, before you go in the pipe, check to your right. The theory they had. Okay, I, th I, th I thought there, I thought there would have been a block there. Nah, you're good. Oh, yeah, well. the, the other active theory is that maybe it was like a license they had for the song and they had to like u either use it or, or or lose it so that's then where uh oh well then just leave it leave it to the commercials <gasps> oh that's a high jump oh boy yeah uh, windy uh, does uh, not uh, fuck around with those hoops that she does not okay you gotta come all the way back here mister so then um so we so we have i need to hear that <laughs> we, we 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 don't have that much time you're leaving me here <laughs> <laughs> sorry bro Okay, just go to seven. Then let's just let's just do this. If we're gonna go big, we gotta go. We gotta. We gotta if we're gonna do this. We gotta go big. <laughs> All right. So world five. I from whatever world four, which we're passing through. That's giant land. Uh, world five. I want to say is uh, the sky. World six is uh, the ice lands, and world seven is pipe land. All right. Do we really want to just you know? I think. Just... I think. I. I yeah, actually, mm, I'd say pipeline. Just, just pipeline because we have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah, and plus, uh, we, I, 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 I do want to. Is... I do want to try to have as much time as we can to talk about the movie. And yes, uh, and apologies. I, I I'm going to start moving this a bit for us. So I need here. That was fun. Toad gets to join just because he was there, which I think was a cheap gimmick. Have him run the obstacle course. Jesus. Yeah, that um, is true. I don't. So get then, yeah, exactly. Oh. So then, while that's going on in the background, um, does it put me here? So, oh, thank goodness. I was like, is it going to put me back in World Three? Okay. Let's go. So then... Sorry if anyone was expecting a legitimate playthrough, folks. We already technically did that a long time ago, back when Seely helmed the NES Yeah, a long time ago. So then, while that was going down, uh, then Mario and Peach went off to uh, to, 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 to visit the the, the, the the Jungle Kingdom. Well, actually... To... Oh, boy. Well, actually, before we talk about the Jungle Kingdom, I realized there were two scenes we forgot about. Um, the, the two short scenes with Luigi and just, like, Bowser's oh, yes. other grand introduction. Completely forgot. Oh my god, that's right. So Luigi finds up, meets all the dry bones, and goes through all the spooky stuff because they better make a Luigi's Mansion movie. Goddamn it! Everyone yep. wants it. Charlie Day wants it. You can definitely make an argument that this whole you just been Luigi, Luigi. might have been, been much. Uh, I don't know. Man, like, I, I, mean, thought, was... I, I can see Luigi being the type that would come up with like catchphrases that only Savers... he would find charming. Savor his victories when he can get them. Um, yeah, because he doesn't get that many of them in this movie. Yeah, and then the Shy Guys and the Sniffits, which I thought it was cute that they kept the Shy Guy voices. Wow. Uh, the <laughs> Sniffit voice threw me off at first. Um, but then, um, and then, yes, then we get to, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oops. So then we get to one of James's, uh, I wouldn't say disappointments, but definitely one of James's blue ball moments in the movie when we get to uh, Bowser's like big introduction of his celebration party for having retrieved the superstar. They played a Fury Bowser's theme during that whole thing, and it's like, I love that song, and I'm glad they put it in the movie. They should have... I really wanted to... It's one of those things where, like, it would have been so perfect if they let Jack Black play play his like vocals for that like song. Like actually as well. sing metal to that song. Yeah. Because... Yes. Go back to his inner tenacious D for that whole segment. Which, Which speaking, speaking of... of tenacious D oh, yeah, songs. You... Oh, you were probably gonna say it anyway, go ahead. No, I mean I mean you could say so speaking of tenacious D songs, at the very start of all this marketing Oh wow, they don't give you many frames. At the start, no, they really not. The no, no, no. The, 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 the red flat, the red leaf plants are no joke. So at the start of all this marketing, um, at the start of all this marketing, Jack Black mentioned that that Bowser would have some form of like musical expression in the movie because he needed it. Because mm -hmm. it's Jack Black. And for many, that kind of became the highlight of the movie. Is it the best song that's ever been written? Eh, depends. But it was most certainly, uh... It was a silly song. It was it was very silly, and... It, 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 was, it was a very... Up there. Honestly, like, I think the, the thing to think about is that, like, I don't think anyone is, like... Kind of like with the movie itself. Like, people aren't, expect, people aren't like, seeing it as, as, like, high art. They're just seeing it as, like, it's just Jack Black being himself. And sometimes that's all you want out of life. Yeah. Yeah. Is that not? Is that not? But, and they're definitely and they're definitely milking the milking the shit out of that song now. Is that not the American dream? <laughs> no. Um. So, but yeah, no. That was then another thing that happened was, oh no, Ooh. hang on, oh, oh dang it, ah. on, catch it. So then, 
Um, so we get to that. And, and I think, I, I really think we, we done, we goofed up. I think we're fine here, don't worry. So. I'm only down to one life, mister. I know, and I game over once, and you'll game over once, and then we're brothers. <laughs> so, then. <laughs> and, that, and then we're even. That's how this works. Like, bro, like all brothers should yes, be. Yes, like brother and, I don't know. So, um, so. So they brought up the they brought that up and that's why I was telling hype one point James is I don't know I loved I very much was in, entertained by Jack Black as Bowser I don't know if he's my if he'd be my ultimate pick for mainline Bowser like Galaxy Bowser like intimidating like deep grumbles and stuff but he is absolutely my go to pick now for anything related to Paper Mario Bowser given like the dialogue and the personality that Paper Mario Bowser has yeah or, yeah, or just I'll agree or that. just Bowser and the spinoffs in general I think that's fair yeah. Whoa. And, like, not even just that, like, Maybe for as little that. time as they shared together, I also really liked uh, his camaraderie with uh, Kamek, which, you know, as expected, Kevin Michael Richardson did a great job as Kamek. And, like, his involvement led to probably one of my favorite lines in the movie, the whole, like, shit, jam with me. Jam with me. <sighs> it just, they, they do that, and then the bit where they're clearly rehearsing the proposal for the marriage, and they just, like, that what? That caught me off guard so bad. The fact that they were both in on them, they, they, they had no, like, this wasn't strange, like, what? It's like, what? In the middle of something. <laughs> yeah, no, like, it's like, man, of all the things that would, that to, to become such a running gag in the Mario, is it, ouch. Well, there I go. Of all the things to become a running gag throughout, not even just the movie, but the Mario series as a whole, it's like... They say Luigi is, you know, not going to live his whole cross... Like, the few times he cross-dresses Peach down. Kamek has a much bigger number on that. Uh, I, I think yeah. it's different because Kamek takes it in stride. <laughs> yes, he does. Ah, but it goes go so well with my eyes. Um, so Actually, then... it's core blue number three. <laughs> so then... Um, so then we get to the Donkey Kong Kingdom and that, that... Okay, so again, this is the biggest squandered moment for me is... Take On Me is a very good song. I like Take On Me. But Same. I don't think for the jungle, even if it was playing on his radio, does that mean that they have the band Aha uh-huh and Donkey? I, listen to the song Driving Me Bananas, and by the time this video comes out, I'm positive there's at least one or two fan edits that replace and pop that song back into the scene. Not even just fan edits, but isn't it true that uh, certain international versions of the movie actually just use that they do. song yes. right where it's supposed to be? So I'm so again, I'm looking forward to edits then, uh, so that whenever when it comes time for me to uh, to for us to watch that movie again, I will I will splice that in so that we can get that version of the scene. Because <laughs> as a fan of Donkey Kong, I love the covers of those old tracks that they put in. Me too. Yeah. It's just it's just a big and that's I guess that's really quick on the soundtrack itself. I love that about the soundtrack itself is. It, it, no, it felt just more like a more bombastic uh, Mario game soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, oh I missed wow. the timing on jumping on that. <laughs> shit. We both game over on the sh- at the same time. Oh my god! Do, do, okay, do. we're doing this. Put me in. So, um, so they get to Donkey Kong Land. Apparently, they're all they're all wacky and bananas for go kart racing, and um, and casually meet. murdering people on the streets. Yeah, oh my god, that guy blew up. Again, way more death than you think. Oh, and apologies backing up. Um, we had a really cool... Um, we had a very cool montage transition scene to get here. Seeing the cheap, cheap planes, but they removed that scene when he pulls the fish off of Mario and slaps on the toad, which I thought I was... I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I'm surprised they actually cut that out. I thought that was a fun bit of slapstick between him until like... What the? Yeah, um, no, that was fun. Was um, yeah, and uh, obviously some, some of them that you saw were from the trailer, like them going through uh, Toast Arena, them going across the Yoshi Plains. Above that, which, speaking of which, I, that is kind of a cute thing where like you, they just casually stroll through the the plains where the Yoshi stride. Mario grabs a, t- takes a fruit for that for the road. Yeah, he's like, wait a minute. Which certainly leaves a different leaves you feeling feeling different thoughts once we get to the post credits. Well, it's just it's also the fact of like just thinking out loud that like hear me out that that post credit stinger probably would have hit a lot harder had we not had that scene with the Yoshis previously maybe like, Although, because now because now I'm clearly going into this like okay I know they're established in this game they are in their movie the game the movie I know they're in this world so it's not gonna be a surprise if oh anyway um I mean I guess it's supposed to show that you know the main main Yoshi's gonna be, be the thing now in the next movie and also 
before they even go to the Mushroom Kingdom, he's probably going to be an absolute terror in the su- in the sewers of Brooklyn. Oh, that's that's however much time they so, spend in Brooklyn in the sequel. It's the sewer monster of Brooklyn. Actually, it's the not very monster. Very, very brief thing. Very, very brief thing before we continue. You talk about like uh, Mario eating the fruits. Thoughts on the running gag, short-lived running gag of Mario actually hating mushrooms. I mean, it's one of those things where. It's it's a delightful little subversion of of you know the age old thing of Mario eating mushrooms all throughout his ass. Oh. Uh, okay. And also to show how he actually came to stomach in the first place. Yeah. I mean, because he basically had to. If that, the, okay. I know it's not the most mature humor, but the gag of him actually throwing up because he ate too many mushrooms and that actually leading to him deep powering, powering down. down because yeah. of that was funny. Hmm. Yeah, I just thought that was just an amazing thing we didn't touch upon. But yeah, just going back to to the Donkey Kong lands. Um, Everybody loves the mushrooms, right? Yeah. But yeah, so going back to uh, Kong Kingdom, and we get to see its ruler, Cranky, which I love how, like, everyone is just unanimously, like, the second we hear Cranky, everyone's just unanimously going, like, Chris, good news. You're no longer the person we don't like anymore. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. Cranky Kong was horribly miscast in that movie. Yeah, like, I like how he was written. Like they his, just like needed a different voice. Like, his characterization is fine. It's just not that voice, please. Yeah. It does not fit him at all. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of... Oh, whoop. I'm oh try- this is getting obnoxious. Okay, I'm going okay, to use an overpowered power, but I'm just going to go through and just, and just gun it. Just do it. Get us out of here. Okay. <laughs> and then flame and, and star. Run! Remember, the Starman don't last long. I know, that's why I gotta run. Uh-oh. Whoop. And thus it was put to waste. Star well used. <laughs> Man, imagine if the star was that, you know... I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get the, the star movie. like I go... I wanna get the star from the movie and become Super Saiyan more in that later. So, <laughs> we, so we meet... Yeah, so we meet Frank Armisen as Cranky Kong. He was not my first pick. Um, and unfortunately, I just... It, it was a fun... I'm, he, I'm sure, can do a fun He voice. sounds like he should have been one of the uncles. Yeah? Actually, yes. Someone else... Like, no, like honestly, just just gonna call him right now. Have fucking John DiMaggio in him slot places. <laughs> John as Cranky another, Kong would be hilarious. Another, it would. Another idea I had seen, uh, or at least an idea I'd heard from Shafrilis, uh, was... They were like, I want. They they were like, they someone wanted. Shafrilis was curious about how would James Hong do as cranky, like the old, like the guy, the old man from. Oh uh, yeah, Mr. Pink. Panda, the father. Like, like, but you, just, just regardless, sound older, sound yeah, cranky. Yeah, I was about to say that's his gig. I, I will say that that might not be my first choice either, but I feel like he would be more fitting than whatever Fred did in the final film. It was just kind of yeah. lax, and there was just so many odd things in there. Thank you. All right, Jeez. now then, let's see what else this hellish torment awaits. We were not prepared for this. Oh my god. Okay, so there we go. There you go, Mario. Mario. This is what you. This is what you get for blowing the whistle too soon. Now we needed this. There you go, Mario. Off you go, bub. So then, um, so then they have to do this. So then, <laughs> like this is exact. Like this playthrough is literally the equivalent of that one. What was it Dorkly short that you we constantly? Yeah, like, the warp whistle. I bet you used glad you didn't get the warp whistle. I used a warp whistle. Very glad. Um, so no, it's like, I love the movie, he like, just turns on his back, like, alright, this is what you wanted, I'd hate to trouble you with a boss fight, wiggles his legs. Um, so no, it was, um, a little, 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 little nipper plants. So then- Yeah, the de- nip, this is the, de- oh. the debut of the nipper plants. He does it. So then, um, the other big thing then was we get to the grand tournament to prove that we are worthy of the Kong- You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, to, to prove basically the whole, like, oh, if you can beat my son in combat, because he's now going to be my son, which was really amusing, beat my son and you can have my army. And thus they yeah. did. And, um, okay. And, then, yeah, and that just leads us to, uh, well, the other primary character of the whole movie, DK. Yeah. And hey, your thoughts hey, on... Hey, here we Seth- go! Oh yeah, the fact that they actually used the DK rap yeah, as his wrestler. They intro. use that, even though it is kind of a bummer that they did not properly credit Greg Kirkhope in the uh, credits. For oh, that. They... Though I also noticed they also I also noticed that that's not even that's like not even the only time I noticed that when they mentioned that um, freaking Fury Bowser's theme was put in, it, they just told, they just say it's just from the game. They don't even outright list the composer for that either. So I guess that's just the exception. It's like I'm not saying Koji Kondo was bad. Oh my gosh, Koji ah! Kondo's work is legendary for a reason. I just. 
Yeah, the, the the new bloods, the new you know, the new the, the, the new, new people, the new material, the new people. But you know, just showing the fact that I don't know. I just wish that yeah, more proper credit was given to show all the fun stuff going into that. Um, so. But that being said. Um, that being said, um, your thoughts on Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong now? Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, thankfully. Though I am a bit bummed that, yeah, he still did do the laugh. Like, maybe twice throughout the whole movie? At, at least once or twice, Well, yeah. the, the, I, then... I heard twice. The first time was when, during the fight where he became Mini Mario, he grabbed a wrong mushroom. And the second time, it's a little bit more faint, but it's as they're driving through with the carts. Like, it's, like, you can barely hear it over the motors, but yeah. There was mm -hmm. that a little bit. Um, what did you think of? What did you guys think of Donkey Kong's behavior? I liked it. Like I, I thought it fit Donkey Kong very well. It was an interesting take. I'll definitely give it that because yeah, no, like it's obviously not too dissimilar to his portrayal in the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, where by and large, like, I mean, the dude's got all the strength of like the strength of Atlas for all I care, but the dude can also be a fucking like he's a man child. He's he could just be a. He's a total man-child sometimes. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Um, I mean, that holds true. That definitely holds true for this one, especially when there's a subtle plot point involving him having a bit of a, um, let's just say that uh, father-son bonding time isn't exactly as grand as they as he'd want it. He yeah. wanted to prove himself and not be considered a joke, even though that's what he. Oh, great! Of course, it's down there. Yeah, like which is weird because he because like apparently like right like at the forefront, he's already considered like the champion of the whole jungle kingdom, and yet he still views him as. Yet, for some reason, Cranky still views him as, like, a joke or a failure. Well, you yeah, can just chalk that up like... to Cranky being Cranky. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Um, so then Mario does the big fight, and I will say that. <laughs> so Cranky to the point where he calls out Diddy Kong for constantly ch uh, changing, stop! Uh, the, changing DK's name. Which I, actually, I did I was, love I was that, and just how in character that moment was. I was surprised. Yes. I, I didn't think that they were going to actually zoom in on Diddy Kong. I was going to that thinking, okay, Diddy and Dixie and Chunky, are, are, they're all going to be in the background. No, they front and center at one point. Uh, they, they actually cut back to Diddy a handful of times in that fight. Yeah, no, there, uh, like, there was him, there was Dixie, and surprisingly even Chunky was there. Yeah. He's not dead. Yeah, no, he ain't dead after I'm... all. They just, you know, just forgot about him for a while. Yeah. But yeah, there was that. Then, uh, so then, of course, Mario fights him, and this is the part where a lot of critics, uh, unfortunately, then, if they weren't Mario fans, this is, a, again, a bummer for them, is there were some people who were like, why does Mario become a cat? Like, why does he become a furry? That's so... <laughs> Ow. Your feet, your... Oh, apparently you can't I've slide never on really heard... not strong enough for that. I mean, granted, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I didn't bother watching or reading any of the critic reviews, partly to avoid spoilers, and partly because I just figured that they just wouldn't really, like, they would be too snooty for the movie, so I haven't heard any instance of people questioning why these power-ups exist and whatnot. Why? Uh, it's like, I mean, that's just... That's just how it is in this world. Like, there are power-ups. Like, fucking deal with it, guys. That's just how it is on this bitch of an earth. <laughs> I remember that. Uh-oh. Um, and I'll make sure you don't forget it. Yep. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I definitely still say that... I definitely will say that the fight... Like, the whole fight with Mario and DK was oh. one of the highlights of the film. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, like... I will say, uh, one thing that I think this movie... Of course. Uh -huh. One thing this movie gets right is... I think the action sequences were very fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, like, absolutely, like, when it absolutely just wanted to, you know, not worry too much about the plot and just get things moving, like, all the action, yeah, all the action stuff is uh, just... Oh, yeah, I was about to say, before you absolutely. fell down that pit, that egg looked like it totally hit you, but you just phased through it. I was very, I was very scared. Alright, we just have to push forward enough to get a shortcut. You got this, yeah. Buster. Nah. We'll get this, we'll get, we'll get through this somehow. I mean, Graham, what have you done? Oh, uh, I mean, that was close. Oh, no. oh. Oh, 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 is that how this works? This is the level where you just have to keep a star power going as long as you can? Yes. Interesting. Um, so let's see, so then what else? Um. Oh, eh, close enough. Ah, oh, well. So then, yeah, that'll work. So then after Mario trounces uh, Donkey Kong because he because someone forgot that the cap power-up is literally one of the most OP power-ups in Mario history. And for those... And I mean, I guess there is also... It is also nice that they just outright say that the only reason that like, DK's not using the power-ups is because he feels too... Uh, he feels too prideful. To right, which... Uh, yeah, he that I do feel match. is a little in character. That is also in character. The fact that, like, he doesn't want it to be too easy. He kind of takes fun in the fight. Mm-hmm. And then, and then suddenly Mario turns into a cat, and then he just outright gets whooped. Yep. Uh, I don't know which way is the way to go yeah. here. Mm, I'm gonna try this one first. 
The extended scene of that was honestly kind of cute in a way. Yeah. yeah. Him getting all cat-like and stuff, but, um... <laughs> even the and the, even the cons were... When he, he was just literally just... Like, like, it's like, Aww. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah. He really is. He really is? Oh, yeah, no, that bit with Peach. That was cute. Then That was adorable. So then there was... Uh, oh. Whoop. Yeah, the, the bomb Luigi. didn't even blow up. <laughs> so then... They... Listen, that's that, that's just the problem with the game overall. That's like you can't blame that one on on Luigi's butter traction. Like that's just the problem both brothers have in this game. Fine. But yeah, so then at that point, then uh, after beating Donkey Kong in a huge, big old, big old cool fight, then we actually had a very neat. Uh, then we actually then get to the new element that this movie introduces, which is that Donkey Kong's still around, and he just kind of has a very bitter rivalry at Mario for trouncing him in public. Yeah. No, he absolutely just has no chill over it. Nice. Um, but yeah, then they have their big fight. They're going to take the shortcut through the Rainbow Road. Uh, oh, and at one point then, when Bowser in, is interrogating the whole jam with me a while, uh, interrogating Luigi, I, I also love the delivery of, Would Peach find him cute? Yes, if she, if she had good taste! And, <laughs> and that's where he does the mustache rip. Like, th th that scene, like, when you see it in full, is honestly pretty intense. Like, like, gra like, I thought, I genuinely thought, I was like, is he about to actually rip off half of his mustache right now? Um, not rip off his mustache. It's clearly them about to make love. Everyone's uh, been, uh, everyone's been making jokes. About I am. Him, but... I'm sorry. Like, you look. You can have your weird ass fantasies if you want. I am not a big supporter of freaking Bowser. You know, like, it, it makes I no just, sense because it's like that. like Bowser hates everything about Mario and anything associated with him, and I think Luigi counts as anything associated with him. Right. Yeah. It's just like again. You guys can have that. You can. You guys can like that stuff if you want. I just do not. Care. It was clearly. Really it was. It was clearly care. an interrogation that ended and started at the interrogation. So while that was happening, oh then um, no, oh, this is good. Uh, this gives him a fire flower. Kind of decent. Nope. So then, let's see what happens. So then, so they. Oh, ropes. Right. Already walked that way. So they hit the rainbow road, which is how we get to another another couple of licensed tracks again i'm very curious to see more than just driving me bananas i'm very curious to see what the other tracks sounded like and well i think there were like a the few of them that were on the soundtrack like like apparently the one where mario's traversing through brooklyn like that had a pop song in it like i think the original track for that is on the soundtrack okay huh. um so they make their they make their tracks you know of course mario goes the classic og mario kart 8 uh, or whatever card peach goes with the bike Toad goes with that. Which, that was one of the gags that my cousins loved when we saw it in theaters. Like, they lost it when they see Toad pulling up, and then he tilts his head, it's like, That's right! Try it, but then at the same time, try not to screw up and, like, accidentally lose his glasses and... There we go, okay. So... That was fun, and then unfortunately, you know, shocker, it was an ambush. And actually a very damn good at ambush at that. Yeah. Um... So then we have this huge cool action set piece with Mario and all the Donkey Kongs trying to like fend off, which Mario's actually holding his own. Mm -hmm. And then we meet the the General Koopa. Right, well, we've seen him a yeah, few times, who, uh, but who to my shock was voiced who to my shock was voiced by Robin. Yeah, really? like it's yeah, Teen Titans Robin. Huh. Yeah, oh like it, it's a voice. I, yeah, it's, it, it's got them. No. Yeah, it's a voice I don't hear from him. Huh. I'll give him that much, but it's like, like I. I'm gonna be honest, like, he was another character I love. I loved how, like, so into it and so bloodthirsty he was about going after Mario. To a point where, you know, true to his nature, up and performs like a kamikaze, and it's like, straight up kamikaze, you don't see him again after that scene. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, fuck. Damn. Yeah, no, he just utterly just demolished him. It was... Again, way more inter way more instances of death than I thought this movie was going to have. It was nuts. Um, so then... And, speak and then... and then speak... and then... what came afterwards, like, honestly took me by freaking surprise. Like, you know, among the casualties, like, Mario DK fall off the Rainbow Road straight into, a, like, a freaking... Moray. Like, right to the, the ocean. And then suddenly Maul Rape shows up! Like a giant mall rape, no less. Like, hello there, uh, ch children's nightmare fuel. Yeah, they uh, they kept. Oh. Are you kidding? Yeah, you can't do the whole well. duck, you can't do the whole duck and move sort of thing with the frog suit. You're stuck. I'm actually freaking soft locked. Oh my god, that's bad. Nintendo, what do I do? Um, <laughs> do you want to talk about how? Do you, you want to talk about... Logan, 
do me oh. a favor, save and quit, because we're getting this shit done now. Oh, okay. Yeah, just we're gonna have to. We're unfortunately gonna have to really just forego the forego the first. Just forego the the co op thing and just do that. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> That's no problem. Safety saves yeah, are we, we need to get a move. We we need to get a move on. Safety saves our reason. I got to show off a soft lock. One that cute, but it's wrong. Anyway, so yeah, no, again, this is a completely illegitimate playthrough. Considering we only not only did we use a warp whistle, we got ourselves stuck on a place that was not worth being stuck on, what? and thus Mario. And, well, let's just say that Luigi got kidnapped off screen. Yeah, so then Mario has to go save him and Peach. You gotta go save me. So then, and meanwhile, I guess what were your thoughts on the Luma Lee? Which people did confirm the reason why they actually mm. legit the, the reason why they specifically called it Luma Lee is because it is the same Luma model as the Luma Shop. From right, because that's the last name. That's the name of that. To my shock, that's the name of the actual Luma species itself, the Luma League. Uh, Luma League, Luma Bop. But um, yeah, no, like, I'm still not sure how to feel about the Luma League being in this movie because, as a Mario fan, I know it exactly what it is. It's insinuating, but beyond that, it's like. It felt like such a random element of the movie. Honestly, like, I think even for its purpose, it also just feels a bit needless. Because, like, when we all saw it, um, slight spoiler, when we all saw it, we figured that's like, oh, that must mean we get, like, a, a Rosalina cameo in the post credit scenes. No, Rosalina doesn't appear. Like, Rosalina doesn't appear, no other Luma types either. It's like, no, this is this is purely just sequel bait. But hey, he plays the sequel. And even then, it's like, it's, it's, I mean, I get it's also a matter of how. Oh. It's also a matter that they're, it's there because, well, he's a nihilistic little shit to the, and such, to such a point where it, he royally demoralizes everyone in that, in that whole. Yeah. Prison. That I thought, that I thought was the, I think the only joke that kind of dragged on a bit too long was every time he would say something, they were like, come on, stop talking. Like, no, of course he's not going to stop talking. He's a nihilist Luma. Let him do his thing. I do like the, the so, slight payoff they had where it's like, once everyone's getting rescued, it just cuts back to him and he's like, ooh. You're right, because he was so ready. Like, Ew. So, <laughs> speaking of that, yes. I guess there was, a, and, and I actually, now that I think about it, there was also the matter, like, in that exact same scene where, you know, once the plans were made there and once they learned of their fate, they just went fucking yeah. nuts. Yeah. So, so that point, yes, the Kongs got captured. Peach had to go back to everybody to tell them about the bad news. And then we get, that's when we get to the big impact bits. And then, yeah, then actually in a... And that's when we get to the whole, the whole point where it becomes a lot more clear that, yeah, they totally took inspiration from the comic for this. Yeah. Let's torture somebody and now you gotta marry Bowser. So, of course, we actually get ourselves the Bowser marriage scene and... Everybody was invited. And I do appreciate that. And I do appreciate they let him still keep the suit from Odyssey. Yeah. And actually, just another another bit with Kamek that I love is as he's making the proposal, like, he does one of the pickup lines that he said in the scene prior. Peach just unamused, and Bowser's like, I told you that line would work. You're like, doing great. And you just see his thumbs up pop off the screen. Yes. <laughs> there was that. Um, and so then he then it's, it's demanded. She's going to marry him. Everybody's invited. Side note, King Boo looks like a goober. <laughs> he totally does. Please change King Boo's design before the Luigi's Mansion movie. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's what I would totally recommend. Keep that design and then and then give a justification of how he gets his more epic looking design in Luigi's Mansion. Oh yeah, with the dark moon crown or whatever. Fair enough. Yeah, like 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 that could really like he puts that on. That's what gives him all that twisted power and overall aura about him. Oh, he didn't he didn't even throw the sock. Okay, you know what? I realized Wait, no, something can... that's also... Oh, you know, yeah, you have to boot me so you can rewind. I'm leaving. Yes, I, I am so terribly sorry to do this to you, Logan, but you must give me given the boot. I'm leaving! <laughs> this boot, to be exact, it's very stinky, and you have to wear it for the rest of the video. There you go. All right, let me go back to watching your screen then. So... Thank you. <laughs> be right back. Yeah, again, folks, this, this, let it be known. I only did so much practice for this in anticipation for this. I know, I know. It, did. We, we, it was, it was a whole thing. We really wanted to do it. So now that we're back in it, ninety-four lives later, we're in it to win it. So now that we're going forward into this adventure, um, Peach uh, reveals. I, I, I guess that's the other thing I will say. I was surprised. Was surprised by. I wasn't. I was not um, ready for Ooh. how many power-ups they're going to introduce all in a single movie. Same. I thought. Oh, are they just gonna. I thought they're. Are they just gonna keep it to the original? Like just. Some power-ups, no. Mini mushrooms, uh, fire, of course, fire flowers, 
um, Cat Mario, and now Ice Flower is even also mentioned. Ice Flower, I mean, Tanuki Suit goes, I mean, the Tanuki Suit, I was actually surprised they used right at the very end. I do right. think it's a bit of a tease that we, out of all the forms Mario got to use, and that he never once gets to be Fire Mario. That is true, he never does use the Fire Flower. Like, he, he comes yeah. close to it, but that's when DK just kind of, like, extinguishes it. Which apparently that's how they work, which was funny. Also, Ooh, also, pe also the fact that we now learn after all this time that impressive like Peach transformation to Fire Peach scene, just to make a campfire, that Toad <laughs> probably had all the tools for right there. Um, yeah. So, okay, that, I mean, hey, if you have the, if you have the power right then and there, use it. Just show it off. But anyway, um, so actually, that is another thing I just remembered that completely lost my mind until now. There was at least one point, I want to say it was during one of the Luigi scenes. It might have actually been the exact same scene before he got captured by the Shy Guys, or maybe after. Mm -hmm. But, like, he had a whole... Or, or maybe it was from Mario, I forget. But there was, like, that whole flashback that actually gave us a glimpse yeah. of how they were as, as a children. Yeah, right? and, and, and I remember, I I remember now. It was when he was ca kidnapped and, and on I, the, I, I did not realize how much I, I how much more I needed in my life freaking illuminate... Freaking... See, freaking... CG film quality baby Mario Brothers. Because it... And, and they and they were like on model with how you it know. was shockingly on model and just holy shit! I I I, I give us a Yoshi's Island short, god damn it! And they also and the fact that they also and they also kept <laughs> let me try it again. And they also like had like Baby Peach in there as well, like which I, 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 many things I was surprised about. Nice. So yeah, no. Now that we had that taken care of, like um. So then Mario and Donkey Kong come to the rescue. You have another very, very fun action sequence. A lot of moving pieces of them, like, charging through the, like, invaded Toad Town. That was a lot of fun. Oh, and even before that, before, like, when they were just reaching the Mushroom Kingdom, they brought back, you know, a very infamous thing from the return from the Returns games. Oh, right, the Rocket Barrel. Yes. Right. Now Mario gets to ride side saddle on a Rocket Barrel. And now barrel. you, too, will understand the dreaded power of the mines. So. <laughs> Don't mention it. Don't worry, I won't. Thank you. Never again. Please. There was that. Um, just their their whole core. Like again and again, there was something there. There was something there of the two being linked by their struggles to prove themselves to their fathers. But the, the movie again, the biggest problem with the movie, I would say, is that it's trying to do so much. It moves very quickly. So that scene kind of just is over in like less, literally less than less than thirty seconds. So. Yeah. But although I guess that is one thing that did catch me off guard, like you know they have the whole thing of like yeah, you're, my, you know, think, think you, good thing you don't have your dad treat, thinking you're like a joke, and he's like yeah, no, my dad thinks I'm a joke too, and he's like, oh, well, well, your dad's right, <laughs> right, he's right, like, again, like it, he was very much a stubborn ape, which is fair. That's he, I mean, true to his name, Donkey Kong. Fair. Oh my God, you're right. Yes, fair enough. So, um, and of course again, Fire Donkey Kong. I now want that in the games. Now he looked yeah. actually really sick. Um, that was great. I, I look forward. Listen, if that whole thing of uh, that whole long age rumor of DK getting a new game from from the in, in Nintendo EAD staff is true, please let let that be a thing. Let him actually use Mario Power. And if not that, artists of the internet, you have your mission. You need to draw more. <laughs> just draw more. You need. To, I want to see. I'm very curious. Like <laughs> I'm trying. Damn it. I want to. I'm very curious what other palette. Like Ugh, here we go. I'm, I'm very curious what color palettes. Um. Damn it. I was gonna say, right at the end. backing up, would the cloud ha re rewind, rewind? Because I'm curious, would the cloud have gotten you over all of that? Uh, the cloud? The cloud power. No, it's randomized. Oh, uh, oh, the cloud power. Yeah, the power. cloud power, oh, like the know? one that lets you like yeah, normally skip over levels. Let's see. No, no. Nope. Okay, that <laughs> the was, cloud is not. That enough. was the worst one of all. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> it's just like ah. Mama. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay, like, I, I know I've seen, uh, I've definitely seen artists toy with the idea of, like, what Diki would look like with other power-ups. There's, there's a set of them that I really like because of the designs. I, I'll show you them later, but, like, yeah, I definitely okay. want to see more of that idea. It's, it's really fun. It's just that whole set piece of them. I mean, now that we know, especially now that we know for sure that DK is just a part of the main cast now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, what else? So, then they get there, they use the Tanuki, Peach, uh, really? Peach, Peach, you know, turns down Bowser, freezes him, and... 
uh, you know, DK and then save him. And the, that was that was one of my other favorite lines was the like, it's like, go on, son. You can do the dancey bits. Not now. Definitely later. Definitely later. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. That was fun. That was cute. Yeah, that was um, cute. And that's the other moment, like right before that, the one other moment of Mori and Luigi that I love, like after they embrace, which that that was a wonderful thing itself. And then, like Luigi takes a minute to go very, like, Very are long you? overdue. Yeah. Like after they do that, just Luigi takes a second to go like, what are you, just like a bear? <laughs> so what the hell's going on there? No, that was fun. And then Bowser shoots a bonsai bill, um, which that was incredible. Yeah, that was that was nuts. Like just like I literally like okay, couldn't marry her, nuke the place. I was... also real talk, real talk. It wasn't until that movie that made me realize how fucking scary having a bonsai bill emote actually is. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, the fact that like it, the fact that because all this it actually has it actually has sentience. It has actual real eyes that you can like slap and like actually like. Yeah, no, that 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 was that was something. Like, that's fucking terrifying. And, the, and, and and to imagine a bonsai build that can actually change direction and like change course and just hunt you down. And the yeah, no, like like at that point you're the fought. second that he has you locked in his sights. Hello, hello. <laughs> Which again, that was actually a fun delivery. I enjoyed that. So then, uh, I'll just eat it. So then, um. Then we actually lead to something that I've never seen done in these Mario things before, was what happens if you blow up a warp pipe that is, like, just interdimensional warp and just all hell breaks loose. Yeah, which... Um, yeah, that I'm still trying to process. So it sucked everything in. I don't think the pipe is destroyed, because, slight spoiler, they it's shown that it is still capable of having, having Mario and Luigi go back and forth, but it, it, it definitely does make you wonder for a while. At the, I think maybe it's, it's just the properties of the warp pipe just suddenly get blown into the, the, just, I don't know, it's some sort of weird space-time You know what, you know what it is? I, I guess I, I think I understand what it was. It wasn't the pipe that got destroyed, but the bull bill went inside of the pipe and blew up in warp space. Mm -hmm. And that explosion in warp space was what, like, caused that catastrophic, like, black hole, like, oh my gosh, what what's happening now? And... So then, that's how we actually end up having the grand finale in Brooklyn. Which that which um, that yeah. definitely caught me off guard. I did not expect them to go back to Brooklyn for their final fight. Me neither. And Mario proved again why he is a hero, is that he is that courageous. He will stand up even, you know, in the face of adversity and... And straight to the point where all, like, once all said and done, even fucking Foreman Spike just sings praises. Yeah. yeah. And, and, at, and at the end of it all, like, now we finally get to the freaking Deus Ex Machina we've been waiting for this whole time. The, the Star Man. The Star... Or the Super... Or yeah. just call it the uh, Super honestly, Star Man. But effectively Star Man. The, little uh, nitpick. Um, is it wrong that I kind of would have preferred if they called it the Power Star? Same. I honestly had the same idea. But I guess it's only because the Star... The, the Super Star in the, in the context of the movie is treating it like the actual 2D games where it's an invulnerability. I know. Right. I, just, I just feel like the name Power Star would have been, you know, punchier. Yeah, no, it, it rolls off the tongue so much better. Well, super, well I mean, it, it's weird. Because technically Super Star works on other contexts. It's not so much for a item, per yeah. se. And we'll definitely say, the whole movie would have been over. Bowser just used that, like... At any point in time in the movie, well, right, because like the whole thing, to it like flashing. Well, the before. whole thing is that like Bowser, he only used it as like just like a lingering trump card. Like he only was going to use it if Peach turned down his marriage proposal. Right. Which I mean, again, I'm not going to give him too much shit, shit for that because that is perfectly in character for Bowser to be like that. True. Ah, no. Then, then, but then, then the bonds. I oh, hello. Oh my oh, gosh, you've been here oh, the whole time. Oh. Yes, you do have feet. Oh. So wait a minute, it's night time. Yeah, so I'm off. I'm off hours now. Listen, you, you know how sometimes during the day you can see the moon if you look in the right spot in the sky. Yes, I'm. It's kind of like that. The other one, I was. The other mm. one, I would say hype is the sun. The sun wouldn't hurt me. I'm off, off duty. duty. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> so. Oh, little doggy, it's okay. Oh yeah, uh, uh, you'll give a salute. Okay. You'll get. You'll give a salute to Luigi at the end of the movie. So <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> which speaking of, uh, that, that, that was cute. which speaking of, I actually did like how it like how that did subvert my expectations. Was I thought the movie's big climax was just going to be a a cut and clean. Mario almost couldn't reach the star until uh, Mario just Mario literally just reached the star at the moment that. You know, Bowser's flat fire hits him, but then it's revealed, no, he probably would not have made it had Luigi not helped him that last time. Um, well, I mean, they still do that tease of, like, oh, did he reach it in time? But it's just a matter of, like, it's just Mario not by himself. Oh, yeah, which then then we get to see the freaking... Which, again, Alpha Dream. 
I'm mad. I'm mad for you that Nintendo, because uh, <laughs> because again, holy crap, Mario and Luigi combat is so fun to watch when the it two is. are like just in sync like that. Agreed! And I love the, the track. The, the way they rearranged the Star Band theme is hands down my favorite track of the soundtrack. I'm just going to say that. Very triumphant, just a very fun... And honestly, time, like, just and... how triumphant and just fun sounding it is. Like, like that track just encapsulates my entire feelings for the movie and just how much fun I had with it. I think that's fair. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. And then... Afterwards, we get to see their parents see them as the heroes that they that they can truly be, and um, Whoop. there you go. And then um, and, and all all's all's well that ends well. They use a mini mushroom on Bowser because that actually is very very effective. And put him in a jar. And, mm -hmm. and get the and, yeah, I'll, I'll, hopefully they make sure put holes in that. And jar. get that pet turtle thing that yeah I remember from the freaking uh, him flirting. Like, is this your debil Is this your attempts of flirting? Like he likes a really just fun. The freaking fight those two had. I, I love I, yeah. the idea of Toad trying to be Mario's wingman just amuses me to no end. Well, it would totally be in character for Toad though. Oh, it would be. I, I'm just saying. Best. I just love it. He's my best friend, and now I want to fight but between we... Toad and Diddy, and who is the best, and who's the biggest fan? Ah! Oh, well, if we get that DK spinoff, we'll know for certain. Damn it. Yep. Yep. So then, because then it's also a matter of like, when will it happen? We don't know. For, at the moment, we know. At the moment, we do know for a fact that a Mario sequel. I mean, because why wouldn't it? This thing has, fun fact, legitimately now become one of the most profitable or most successful. It's become the, the biggest opening for an animated movie of all time. Yep. So like. Funnily enough. Yeah. Oh, I see. We got. Wait. No, I know. Which door is it now? Oh, no, I'm lost. Yeah, this is getting. This is getting all confusing. So. Crap. Actually, I need to rewind past the neon waffles. Yeah, no, because maybe it's no, because we went through that door already, and we that wasn't the right door. But let let. Yeah, this might not be the right. Well, door. I mean, that's where we came from. So let's go back, and maybe there's another door to try. Come on. Where oh my gosh! You? Hurry up. So then. You're not gonna get get enough screen time doing that. Oh no, we have oh. to. Oh, I don't... yeah, this place this place is amazing. Yeah, like this level. So then we have uh, so then we have the credits, which was fun. A cute little nod of, of all the different like Mario themes, like Gusty Garden. Like it was all yeah. there. It was a, it was a, it was a, a rip-roaring time. Um. So, yeah, did that ending kind of just come and go, didn't it? Again, it's, it's very, again, very swift, the pacing. I mean, it's a hint of things to come, and I appreciate that, but still. I think, yeah, I think we just have to go into that first. I think we just have to go into that first door there. Because we went through this one. This door already? That's how we, oh, actually, yeah, that's where we came from. Wait a minute, isn't there, like, there has Oops. to be, like, a game of food, did, like... <laughs> Okay, I'm look. I feel like there has to be a, um, a P-switch I can press somewhere. Um... Oh god, there is. There absolutely is. I just can't find it for the life Maybe of me. Maybe it's I'm in... looking it up. This door? I'm looking it up. It is... Peace, okay, oh, yeah, peace, I found switch. it. It's in the thwomp room. Peace, switch, the, the, peace, like, 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 if you go, peace, like, switch. like, it, like, if we rewind, and not, not here, it's basically... Remember the, remember that, remember that loop we were going... Okay, from here... Right there, no, go back. Like, go into, so go into the door with the dry bones. Like, this this okay. is good. Go into the door with the dry bones. And it's to your left. Huh. But... Oh, it should still... It, yeah, you know what? It should still be there by the time I jump up. This is the power of the future. This is the power of foresight. Totally screwing me over. Oh, there, there it, is. it is. And then go to the oh, one on the far right. Get me out of here. Not this one. This just gives you an item. You want to go to the far right of the room now. And it's even nicer that they freeze the treadmills yeah, for thank us. Goodness. Now let's go take on Boom Boom for the last time, oh. hopefully. Better burn. Because I know because I know I gotta probably get going on the scene a bit here, I'm so sorry. But So all this all that said, uh oh and I guess we get to our two teasers. Another reprise of Peaches. But with Bowser, Bowser in a cage. Yep. <laughs> peaches, peaches, it's just this peaches, whole thing. Peaches. It's gonna get it's gonna get stuck in my head. Yeah. Did you um, see the extended cut I found? I I I, I reacted to it already. <laughs> so beyond that, 
Then the other big thing is that the big stinger to hold off, hold us for now is the fact that. Oh. Uh, what? Oh, okay. I oh, it was. Oh, it was all just a big shortcut. The um, the other big stinger is that Yoshi is now in Brooklyn. Like we assume the the, the OG Yoshi. Yeah. And. Yep. The the Yoshi. And hopefully they have plans to do more than. Oh, you want to go up and to the left. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I, I, honestly, that's kind of my thoughts on it. Um, there we go. With that said, ah. with that said, I am so sorry. I gotta get going to an appointment, but just, ah. but just all in all, my thoughts is that I think the movie was very remarkably fun for an Illumination Whoop. production. I was not expecting, I was not expecting it to leave me as entertained. Those hitboxes are so wild. Yeah, no kidding. But, no, it was, it was genuinely a, a good amount of fun, and... Oop. I wow, and I genuinely hope that uh, Illumination takes the right lessons from this to make their movies a little more fun in the future. Oh, yeah. And I forgot the one time that I thought that it was an, an Illumination grade joke was the dry bone saying drama at the wedding. That I, was I the thought it was, was like, enough. I know. It, 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 yeah, and it was pretty. It was pretty great. It was. It was again. That was like the one time in a movie where, lest we forget that one 4chan shitpost trying to come up with what they thought the original trailer was gonna be like in typical Hollywood grade fashion. I'm so glad it didn't. I guess that, that is another thing. I kind of appreciate that the movie doesn't have its own equivalent to the freaking name. Right. Uh, yes. I, I guess oh the my closest gosh. you could argue is like maybe some of the toads, but even then, I guess even the toads weren't really all that, you know, bad. From what I remember. Right. There was that. Um. And again, I was expecting so many, so many worse moments of humor throughout the entire production. Yeah. So, there you go. <sighs> I, I, I unfortunately will have to miss out on the Bowser fight, but I mean, it. I'll, I'll be honest, I love Mario 3, but this is my least favorite Bowser fight. No worries. Just because he, got, he just goes stomping all over the place? But where, where it basically just becomes a game of Toro Toro with Bowser. Toro Toro! Toro Toro! And that's all it is. Um... But actually, how far are we? How close are we to the? Oh, we're not that far off. Like, it, there's only like a few rooms, and then I'll reach Bowser. That's it. Okay. Well, first, elevator. Woo. I mean, honestly, if I play my cards right, I can easily get this done in the next five oh. minutes oh. at most. All right, all right. I believe in you. I will. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just let them know we're 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 just about to kick Bowser's keister. I'll be right- I'm just going to kick Bowser in the show. Do you want anything while I'm out? Also gotta remember that this is also the freaking, like, the, the, the Mario Brothers, like, even in their origins, have literally, you know, they live in a time period where, you know, smartphones are a thing. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh! Ow. There's a callback. I mean, yeah, no, we're, we're pretty much there. We're at yeah, the end. Yeah, here now. we go. All right. And so, it's time to face the big bad Bowser and his nasty-ass breath. Kaboom. And we just need to get him to ground pound that a few times. Come on. Come on, big boy. You can do better than that. What? Go on. Um, your, your breath smells like, uh, like, uh, expired oh, durians. Ouch. Oh, what did you think you I were going to do? I don't think Bowser liked that. No, he didn't. And, uh, Peach said your fanny is too big. Oh, I, thought, I thought women liked a man with a big back porch. It's called having cushion for the pushing, Mario. I can't say that. Like, oh my god. I mean, come on, Mario. So? You're a fat guy, too. You should know it. So. I'm not that big. Come on. Big phone. You know, beyond all that, it was honest. Beyond all that, I, I, I genuinely. I, I will say, I, I'm very curious to see how a second Mario movie will turn out. Oop, same. Well, I mean, again I'm, off, again, I'm just wondering if they'll just go straight to the. Go straight to the first, like, proper sequel, or they'll, you know, dive into, like, spin off territory uh, first. I, I feel like it'd be easier for them to, like, go straight up spin <gasps> off first. Fair. Okay, that's completely fair. So close. Just one more, or I guess two more rounds, technically. Oh, yeah. All right, this is it. This is the bit. This is it, Bowser. It's time for you to go to. Oops. <laughs> Ouch. I'm taking you with me. 
Let's try that again. Whee! There we go. So long, Bowser. I really shouldn't have telegraphed that. Ah! My leg! <laughs> You'll walk it off. And... Yeah. James oh. has done it. Yay. Yeah. I, great said we cheated just to get to this point. But again, we only had so much time on our hands. And honestly, I... Not for nothing. I kind of did want to get this project done as soon as possible. No, but while, while the thoughts are fresh in our head. Right. Hi, did you have any closing thoughts on the movie? Um, I still really loved it. Like I said, it's like the perfect example of like good comfort food in terms of movies. Love the performances, the animation. It's a... Go oh, actually, I just realized something. Another thing that, th th that was a brief joke in the movie where like when Mario tried to access the castle early on and the Toads were like, maybe a princess is in another castle. Yeah, they had to fit that in somewhere. But yeah, it's like... like, Yeah, they yeah, totally had to. Really enjoyed the movie. Thought the writing was really good for what a Mario movie needed. Loved the acting. Gorgeous looking movie. Like, I don't think we can say that enough. Like, this is hands down the best looking film Illuminations made. Yes. Yeah, and I, I honestly do think a good, a good handful of that was, in, was due in part to uh, Nintendo's involvement. Agreed. Agreed, definitely. Um, looking forward to hearing the soundtrack. And again, any edits, I can put those tracks back in. Because it's a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe put Frank Armisen on the bench. Let's find somebody else. <laughs> Think of, and here's all the islands that we didn't get to go on because, again, we had, we had a warp. A <laughs> warp, are we so, oh, you're one of those. Anyway. Oh my gosh, so. <laughs> and yeah, no, like, I, and, I mean, I'll still say I thoroughly enjoyed my time with the movie. I will, I, honestly... The way to wait to event through the retail release is gonna kill me inside because I want to rewatch yeah. some of those. Well, scenes I think they I'm did saying, mention. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Well, I was about to say I, I I might be wrong on this, but I think they did mention that it was going to be going onto streaming next month. It mm -hmm. is. Really? Well, in that case, I my guess is it's probably gonna be on HBO Max since Universal did publish it. Well, no, I, I think it's gonna be I on think. Peacock because that's where some of Illumination's other films are currently at. Uh... I mean, I have Peacock. Well, okay, then that, then that yeah, will do. You're gonna have to be. You're gonna have to be our wingman for that whole thing. <laughs> well, I mean, not like he wasn't going to, but yeah, no, that's gonna. You're gonna have to be the pinch hitter for that one because I don't have to talk. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining for our rambling thoughts on the movie Illumination. You and did. Thank you all for joining us on this long road to seeing the movie while also playing through Super Mario All Stars for the Super Nintendo. Yahoo! And with that, uh, as far as Mario stuff is concerned. We still owe ourselves a trip to Isle Delfino. Yeah, I'll get... But that will have to come later. Until next time, everybody! I'll get the swim trunks. Hey, who said you were going with us, Luigi?